Being a loot goblin is a very difficult way to live life. I see a chest or some crate and I just have to open it, regardless if there's a timer that's counting down to when I die and I need to escape a room. Or if there's a giant horde of 30 enemies chasing me, I just have to check out the items and see if there's anything worth taking, which is almost all the time. And this mod pack only makes living like that more difficult. There's this vault that I have to do special requests for to gain access to, but once I'm inside, oh boy, does it contain a lot of items for me to loot, which are guarded by enemies, but they're typically pretty easy because I'm just so amazing at fighting and no other reason. I've already survived 100 days total, so we have a nice base set up, some farms going, villagers to trade with, and a pretty cozy base. But we have a quest book to get through, and I need to become stronger to gain access to more difficult vaults and new variants of vaults for better prizes, and to beat this mod pack. Ah, what a beautiful day to be a vault hunter. So welcome back everybody and my god we have a lot to do now firstly it seems like every one of us you know including me we really want to do a lot of these vaults however i kind of want to prepare a lot for them and since they always require random items which you know this one's almost done oh god oh man i have to go mining and find that so i really just want to create a lot of farms just so in the future whenever i need these items let's say that you know and i don't have it boom we just have a farm for it second intuitively so i installed the carry on mod because i didn't know about like animal jar or anything else but you guys have been telling me about this so my apologies oh god he really smelled bad from back there but i'll try not to use the carry on mod too much but i do want to keep it strictly just for the chest because it's just it's a lot nicer to go up to a chest being able to pick it up you know and place it back down blah 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 all the items are still in it so you know i'm, I'm just lazy like that so i'll try and you know actually use the mods that escal and the other mod creators uh, left in here for all of this and then same with the glass apparently i can actually make connecting glass so Again, sorry for not reading anything. And then I know for a lot of the farms, we should actually probably focus on the villagers because I can get quite a few blocks from them. Uh, I think first off, let's just go mining. I want to see if I can find any of those stalactite caves. Kind of forgot what they're called, I won't lie. And then I'm pretty sure in episode one, I was using vein miner, but I guess I wasn't because of some of the comments. Alrighty, boys, we're on a mission. No one jump out and scare me at all. Okay, we're, we're just going to, go through this very nice and smoothly oh dear god there's so many of you over there nah never i okay, calm down chill oh daddy chill ah that's it and then i do that ah see i remember currently focus ability i think this is vein miner I'm trying to find anything that i can actually mine right now okay wait, wait, wait. You know, here i guess so if i hold f and then i just mine you Oh, okay. And then I remember this giant cave over here, but I don't think I explored the entire thing. So if we just go through all of this, we should be able to find some new areas, hopefully. And then maybe find some of those stalagmites, slug tights. I, I'm not gonna lie. I just, I don't remember what they're called. Ah, gel, gel. Wow, okay. What are you? I don't even have any sharpness on this. I'm not just one shot a skeleton. Go me. Up off, king. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, these are so random. But yes, thank you. Now, here's a stupid question. Even though, like, I never ask stupid questions. But am I able to make these into a farm? Pointed dripstone. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what it was called. I kept telling Davis that, but, you know, they just never listen or believe me. But I've always been curious if you actually are able to make a farm out of them. Ah! But, uh, never been sure. Oh, I can also make a lava farm out of this. So that might be really good. I have a feeling that we'll need lava for some of the vaults. Do I need these blocks? If I were to make that into a farm, actually here, let's just do that. Boom, they all drop down. But I'm not sure if I actually need to use any of these dripstone blocks to like to put the dripstone on to make lava farms and whatnot. And I kind of want to explore a, a little bit. Uh, hmm. Actually, wait, that's looking like a lot of effort. Okay, wait, maybe I don't want to explore a little bit more. Okay, dear God, that was such a journey to get out of there. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so that's completely done, but actually, no, no, let's not even press the button yet. And let's see, how was I organizing everything before? because I won't lie, I don't really remember anything about this world. <laughs> so before we go and have fun in there, oh, I should probably mention this. So you're gonna notice that I can't really see that far out anymore. And I gotta be honest, that little distance mod that I had on, really cool, really fun. The problem is that every time that I wanna enter the vaults, I have to disable that mod, you know, completely close out of the game and do that. So my game doesn't crash when I enter a vault because they're just not compatible. And it gets really annoying and tedious, and I just want to have fun with this mod pack. So yeah, I just disabled that. 
Would love to use it, but I kind of just care for, you know, the game to be a lot smoother. So we already have potatoes and we have some carrots. I feel like we should just go and make everything else. Surely I have beetroots and pumpkins. Oh, flax seeds. There's, there's no way, right? Actually, no, there probably is a way, so we probably should make that one. Let's go make some pumpkin ones. Okay, so if we don't have any watermelon, we don't have any beets. Well, we can at least start making farms for these three. I don't think I have any birch around me, and we should really, really try and make some of those. And then after that, I feel like we should go exploring and we find some other vegetables. Because I want to get this down to where we just have everything so we could just do non-stop vault runs. I, as much as I would love to do one vault run, have to do a lot of farming, gathering all the items, and then do another one. Like, it gets a, a bit tedious, you know? It's a little bit too slow for me, so I think we should go a lot faster. By just having farms like i think that's just the smarter route are you kidding? wait i actually only have 26 dirt that's actually impressive uh in a good way okay let's see does this actually work oh like well other than being unbearably loud at least we can come over here and then this won't be seen oh my god it's so loud but at least now we won't be able to see this from our base areas oh god that's slender Oh, that's under. No, no. But at least we won't be able to see this from our base, and then we can just keep coming back and get a whole lot of dirt. Oh, okay. Wait, so I'm already that far ahead in here. That's nice. So I actually have some pretty decent tools. Oh, hello. Okay, that should be well over more than enough than we need for every single one of our farms. Okay, tree farm making a little bit of progress. Might redo this on the future. Uh, maybe we'll just build like really nice buildings for everything. I just want to get the basics down so we can go have fun. Oh, man, I just made the wrong place for the pumpkins. Okay, well, you know what? This is me preparing for the future. This is for all the B-roots. Okay, because those are all good there. Yeah, oh, dang it. I knew I was messing something up. Now I need to build another. I was just about to say that. Okay, sweet, we're completely done. But never mind, we're not completely done. I don't even know the most efficient way to plant pumpkins. So this, this should be really interesting. Okay, let's see. So if I leave you for the pumpkins and then I do actual stem here, stem here, pumpkins. Okay, so I think that all works. And then I don't know about that side. Okay, so let me mirror it over here. The pumpkin farm should be completely done. Again, I don't think that this is the most efficient way, but whatever, you know, at least it's unique. Need to work on you, need to go get some beetroots. Oh man, I have to make another one of those for some watermelon. The worst part is how I don't know if there's any modded crops that I need to worry about, but we'll just tackle that later on. Now for this part, from memory, I think that there was actually a village somewhere around this direction. Oh, I should probably collect all of these. The farm near the house. <gasps> Yes, I was actually correct. Yes, I love my memory. Now, I know you guys never have any carrots, but I'm hoping that you at least have some watermelons. I, that actually could be one, if I was lucky. Oh, and then also according to you guys, so apparently people kind of commonly cannot find carrots in this mod pack. I don't really get why, but apparently it can be one of the mods that makes villages quote unquote better. But uh, yeah, it makes everything else like incredibly difficult to find, like when you need simple things like that. But then apparently when I break these, I actually have a chance at getting other seeds than just wheat but i don't know if that's true but that's what one of you told me because so far i'm only seeing wheat yeah that, that's just wheat I, I don't know how much truth that one holds but i have been to this village before i believe oh okay i haven't really gone too much further i mean i'm in a exploring mood especially with how like this world generation is it's very pretty it's a lot better than typical world generation so i'm definitely down to do, uh, just keep on going oh animal jars oh man wait they're that cheap you usually need polished vault stone which i think i actually have quite a few of that but then just regular glass for use in the animal pen oh that's right yes 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 i can apparently breed animals in the animal pen 
and then it'll just use a whole lot less uh, of my computer. Like, I don't know how else to put it. Like, it, it just makes my game lag a lot less. So that's definitely something that I am incredibly interested in. I would also like to see just how fast they work. So I think once we get back home, we're going to work on some animal pens. Also, I have a question for all of you, because obviously, you know, I have quite a few series going on in the channel, and that's strictly because I have so many editors. So I have to like keep on making new series. However, for this one, I'm very curious. What is the ending to Vault Hunters? Is there a specific item that I'm trying to go for? Or is it just like an end level and end vault? Because if you guys continue to enjoy this series, I'm pretty down to go and maybe go all the way to the end. Unless it's just astronomically difficult to get towards and it would take like 50 episodes then uh eh probably not interested in that no 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 okay, just keep running just keep running oh my god there's a girl behind me i'm way too scared way too scared no 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 not do those kind of interactions i let's go across the ocean you might actually be able to find something cool back there or back there across there oh my jesus christ hi okay i won't lie i wasn't actually expecting you to come all this way pause this ocean floor is so deep i felt like i was back on my raft series oh my word oh my god it's so deep that's what she said or p said whoa 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 why is the water like a pinkish purple whoa i'm living every single girlie's dream now if only the sky was pink then they would go feral whoa what is this is this nether yeah strip warp no what oh this is a weird place okay well at least when i look at the map i can actually see it again so if we ever need to come back here we can Ooh, that's that's bad right there nope nope do not want to get debuffed please no thank you oh god if i ever need items from a guardian temple i think i might just cry like i think that's pretty valid oh my god okay like I, I was expecting something a pog what is this twitch chat oh my god i was expecting like something somewhat easy to make for a backpack that looks insane magic silk oh obviously yeah i have to get the magic silk block and then i can make it into that and then oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay that's that's a bit intense okay the fact that there's not even one village in this entire area yet or anything of value it's actually a little wild usually i get a lot more luck with villages Wait, I have found a jungle. Wait, how do I not have any watermelon then? Something's weird around here. Some might even say that it's a little bit of a sussy baka around here in these parts. I don't know, Davis made me say it. Okay, I think we need to cut the fun short, you know. It's always a whole lot of fun to go exploring. Wow, that is really cool. But I think it's time to return back home because very clearly, I'm just not going to find anything that I actually need all the way out here. Wait, hold up. We might actually be really close to this and it might have the one piece in there. So I think we have to go. Oh, wait, jungle. Oh, okay. It's like the smallest jungle on the planet, but we might actually get lucky and find one watermelon in there. The biggest thing that I wanted to find was the beetroots. So that kind of sucks not finding it. Oh, we're actually close to this. Please, for the love of God, be right here. Yes. Oh my goodness, we might find that one piece. Oh, okay, well, now we didn't even find anything of use in here. Oh, well. Oh, wait, but there's another boat right here. I get distracted very easily if you can't sell. <laughs> Man, we were so close to actually being good. Ah. Uh, if only it was green, not orange. Is it really only one chest? Like, this feels like such a scam. I feel like I'm missing one. Oh god, my house is 5,000 blocks away. Okay, we need to hurry. That's actually gonna take me a little bit to get back to. And we need to now go through this scary forest, which I have been seeing some mobs in. I'm a legend, I'm a legend! Oh, okay. I'm actually shocked that I landed the land! Oh. Okay, see, at least I can water bucket in this mod pack. The, at least they, the mod creators didn't give me like minus 20 to my luck. Huh. I mean, if we go down, we can actually find one of those cool caves, but wait, wait, wait. There we go. I don't know if I have any moss pack at home, but this might be really nice to build with. <gasps> oh my God, there's a jungle right there though. Oh, wait, we're not out yet. We might actually be able to find something useful for this run. Maybe it's not completely useless yet. <gasps> yes. Okay, at least this wasn't a completely useless run so that's phenomenal only i could just find some beetroots but the only way that i know how to find those is either village or maybe you could find it in a chest in a dungeon but i feel like that way is pretty difficult so i think our better bet would just be from a village but i got a feeling again like it's exactly like the carrot that it just won't spawn in unless i somehow have a beetroot somewhere and i just haven't seen them has this always been a thing 
Or like if you right click with a clock, it actually tells you the exact time in game. <gasps> Village? Wait, 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 wait. Have I ever been here before? Oh, wait. Never mind. Okay, you just had to bait me. Okay, I, I see you, game. I see you. Okay. Oh, my wonderful home. How amazing it feels to be back. Oh, wait, I've always had a boat? Oh. Huh. Wait, I oh my god, I had watermelon this entire time. Uh... It, it, Davis, dude, like, we gotta talk, man. Like, why, why did you just, like, allow me to go on that entire adventure? You didn't even tell me that I, like, I was searching for something I already had like dog like i i need you to do better like come on man <sighs> I, i'm just trying not to think of it as like wasted time you know i'm trying to think of it as an investment because we just went on such a fun adventure oh man i was at bamboo and i had moss was wait is there literally no point to me even going out at all did i really just waste all of that time like i'm not seeing that i have any beet roots that's the one thing like uh, that's the only thing that seems to be good right now you know oh okay wait wait at least i didn't have the sweet berries so you know it's not a complete waste then we'll just deal with that later oh dear god can we please get a moment of silence without a ha 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 going on like i'm about to drop some tnt in there because i'm realizing that i don't need you guys i just remembered that whenever i like i'm gonna go and enchant stuff i think yeah i just come into this thing and i just put you down yeah and then i can actually just go through and just buy whatever oh but i need emeralds okay never mind you guys aren't completely useless so you're fine but please keep it down oh man completely out of dirt again oh so much manual labor oh my goodness man oh my life is so hard <laughs> It's so difficult playing six hours of games a week and then earning a hundred times the average income. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God, my ears. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh God, oh, I'm going deaf. Ah, oh, God, it's not even a joke. It's actually so loud. Oh, just turn down the volume. Shh, be quiet, Billy. Shh. Okay, yep, that was a good one. Oh, yep, that one too. Okay, yep, that was on purpose. And dine. Okay, the watermelon farm is completed. Yeah, all that should go well. The pumpkins are somewhat growing. We just haven't been here for them to actually grow. So at least it looks like our vegetable farms are coming along nicely. The animal farms, I think I had to get rid of them because of lag. So I think we should try out those animal jars. And then, what was it? Like an animal pen? Ah, animal pen. Oh, that's so cheap. Okay, we just need a lot of polished vault stone, which I think I had some somewhere yeah polished vault stone so i think for that all that we have to do is just take all of this and then i think i just need to put it into you i'm really hoping i don't need to do anything special i truly doubt it okay good i wonder do you also work in a blast furnace now okay i really don't have any blast man what was i doing for the first 100 days Actually, here, while that's all cooking, some of my tools are actually getting low. I mean, not really, but you know, my shovel is. Okay, why are there so many children? This is weird. <laughs> oh my God, I actually got a carrot. No way. So I didn't have to spawn it in back on the, you know, the, the first 100 days. Okay, it was kind of a joke at first, but why Why are there so many baby zombies dropping down here? I, I'm getting a little, little weirded out here. I feel like there's something weird going on up there. It's always so boring waiting for things to drop down. Almost a creeper were to just drop down below your back at, and then you have to quickly rebuild it everything while all these mobs keep on pouring out uh, uh, that's never fun don't don't no no it's okay no no we don't need to give an example okay phew everything is actually completely done we got like a decent amount of loot i basically just wanted to wait until all the furnaces were done and i'm pretty sure by now they should be done if not then that's just going to be a pay cut for davis yes yes we're all done okay beautiful oh uh, okay. well the glass is almost done now the question in my mind is is it just one animal pen for each type of mob or is it like one animal goes into the animal pen also here let's make the jar and eh, we'll just make one i'm hoping that's enough so if i have you i think we just go over to you and then i do boom oh oh, oh my god wait and it actually even keeps like the exact same skin that the animal had like that's so cool so it can even keep like modded uh animals like that so then uh, i don't know here we'll, we'll just drop you down there but if i have you there and then i do that oh oh no wait it's takes the wait wait if i oh wait so i just lose an uh, uh an animal jar thingy like it's a one-time use oh god wait do i actually need to get rid of the carry-on mod there's no way i have to make a brand new animal jar every single time i want to pick up an animal right there's no way okay so here we'll pick up you and if i put you in there so okay well at least it tells me that there's two cows wait but why did i keep this animal jar yeah i think because the fact that i could pick it up right now that's a really big no-no i think that's the carry-on mod working so i think i'm not being able to access something so perfect that you know the sun's going down i think i need to go and very sadly delete the carry-on mod <sighs> 
Oh well, I, I believe there's mods for everything that I needed. The mods that I added, because you know I just didn't know and I didn't really look around, so my bad. Wow. Oh my god, I have a lot of glass right there. Wait, I have so much stuff right here. How did I? How did I not know about these? Okay, Davis. Like, come on. Like, okay. I, you're really slacking off. Like, I really need you to do better because, like, now I'm not even realizing some of the items that I have even worse now. Like, you really need to do more, bud. Okay, the mod is removed. So now, if we come over here to the animal pit... Oh! Oh! Wait, animals cannot be released when caught. Wait, what? Oh, wait, you're permanently in here? Oh, cool. Uh, that's bad. Oh, wait, okay. So, animal pen, and then you load in a jar. So, that's why the jar disappeared because of the animal pen. What am I supposed to do? Oh, wait. So, what if I go get some wheat? So if I have enough wheat per animal in there, then... Ah. Oh. Okay, wait. So are they babies or are they just like fully grown right off the bat? Two, what happens when I want to harvest them? Like I... I I kind of want to try it out, but at the same time, I really don't. But I mean, it's just cows. I really should have kept them in there and then make the animal pen. That that part was a little silly. I was a little bit of a silly goose there. So let's actually go do that for the sheep and then we'll just test it all out on the sheep. But maybe animal pens is the way to go. It's kind of fun having it be such a small area like that. Oh, then I wonder if bees work the same. But I kind of doubt it. I feel like bees are a little bit too complicated to have in the animal pens. But this is fun, you see? You see, I, I can learn, I can read occasionally if I really feel like it. You know, I, I can understand mod packs. Sorry, we're gonna have a fun time. <laughs> now, I wonder if... Oh, wait, maybe we can then extend you out and then that's where we keep all of our animals because if the animal pens just take up this much space, that's actually not that much. Oh, wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Can I just skip the timer? Wait, four. Oh, okay, no, you can't. Darn it. Okay, I thought I found a cheat to it, but no. But it works a lot faster, so that's actually really goaded with the sauce. Oh, wait. Ooh, we should go find some chickens. I don't know. Actually, yeah, 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 here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go find some chickens because I'm really curious if I break it while mobs are in the animal pen, do I actually get the pen with the animals? <laughs> Wasn't me. Or when I break the animal pen while the animals are in it, do they all just die? Because I don't know how I uh, harvest the animals, you know? Tread lamp? Wait. Prevents natural spawning of passive animals like squids, bats, or ocelots on a big radius around the lamp. Huh? So if I go and make some farms or go caving, I could just prevent bats from spawning in. That's sick. Wait, ant mob filter? It block only animals can pass through? Oh, I don't know why that would ever be useful, but that's kind of cool. Anyways, brother, we need to go and hunt us down some chickens. Also, I feel like I should mention, thank you guys so much. Just whatever series that I do, whatever mod pack that I play, genuinely thank you to everyone who leaves comments about about like tips or what I'm doing wrong or like just how to play the mod pack. Like, it, it, thank you for teaching me and you know, help guiding me or else I can't lie, I would become very bored of the mod packs and then just not continue them. Probably something I should work on myself for in uh, 2024, you know, actually exploring more like in the mod packs and like reading the mod packs, you know, figuring stuff out. Should probably get into that. It would probably do very well for me. Ooh, we also need to get pigs, but we'll do that later. Where did I kill every single chicken in a 500 mile radius around my base? There you are. Yoink. Wait, no. Okay, I gotta know what's going on with this white chicken. Chicken. Like, why is that one going disco? But then I hold the other chicken. That one's totally fine. But you're, you're just in disco mode. So actually here, just so I don't have any visual bugs, I really don't want a disco chicken. So we'll put you in. And then if I put you there, grab a bucket and a mop for this. What? I probably shouldn't talk about a chicken that way. Oh, wait, so grab a bucket. Is this not a bucket? Do I... Oh, wait, huh? Okay, so let me get more eggs in five minutes. Wait, that's so confusing. Wait, so if I go to you... Okay, so I can still get milk that way. This game confuses me so much sometimes. Also, it's really weird to see a chicken the same size as a cow. I gotta, gotta say that. Okay, so now if I were to collect you... Oh, wait. Okay, so it still contains the chickens and it has the... Okay. So boom, and then boom, and then... Okay. Oh, yeah, I gotta say, I actually really like this mod. This is actually really nice. So then... Okay, so I don't need you guys anymore. So come here. Perfect. We got all of you. We just need to get some pigs. And then don't worry, I'm not gonna do anything to the baby sheep. We're just gonna leave him right there so he can just live his own life in there. He'll have some freedom. I, I wanna have some of my animals being able to walk around. So actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go make another pen. Let's go get the pigs while we still are just kind of waiting. I don't even know what I'm waiting on, but I'm waiting on something. I, I just can't tell you what, because I don't even know it. Come here, who's a hungry piggy? Who's a hungry piggy on? What piggy wants to eat food? Okay, Davis, why did you respond to that? Like, why why did you have to leave an editor's note right there? Like, I was talking to the, the pig, like, in the game. Like, I'm not talking to you, and, like, that's... 
Wait, I just realized the one thing that I didn't figure out is how do I kill the animals in the pens if I need their meat? I guess we could try it on the on the pigs. Because the pigs are relatively easy. Either the pigs or the cows, but I don't know. I just, I'm a little curious. I'm hoping that if I swing at it, it just kills one of them and it just immediately drops some meat. Like, I'm really hoping that's how it works. But let's see. Yeah, because you got four. So if I, oh my God, it works exactly like that. In the, oh, oh it's because I have looting three. Oh my God, okay. So yeah, here you go. Actually here, let's just go get a lot of wheat and then we're just going to focus on breeding them all. Yeah, this is amazing. Thank you guys so much for telling me about this. And then for my giant chickens, I, part of me wants to get every single one of these to a thousand. I don't know why, but I, I feel like that's just like a funny number to get it to. So here comes the next issue. I think this is deep slave, but I'm honestly not 100% certain. So I don't really know how I was trying to build. Typically how it always goes with me, if I'm being honest. Do I even have any more deep slave? Oh God, wait, do we actually have to go mining again? Wait, chicken. Oh God. Okay, wait, what if I put you in here? Okay, no, no. Well, oh, at least I don't need a smelter, but I think we actually do need to go mining again because I strongly believe I'll need more of these blocks. I mean, how was I doing this? I think that was in between every single part, and then we start off with that. that boom. Okay, eh, eh. I mean, I might be able to figure it out, maybe. So for this one, I think we just started off by going up some stairs because I need it to, I think I'm gonna try and wrap it around over there because I'm kind of scared to bring it forward and have it hit the farm. Oh, maybe we have it go right here. God, I don't want to, please. No, I don't want to go mining again, please. Oh, wait, no, I think we actually have to go right now because I don't really have any more. Uh, actually, wait, 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 wait. We've had this issue so many times. Let me check all my chests. Am I truly out? Because I mean, I got some right here. Uh, okay, no, I actually do have to. Okay, at least with the vein miner, this should quite literally take us like seconds. Oh, okay, nice and easy. Okay, phenomenal, that should actually be enough. And eh, I'll just come back if I need more. Okay, so I think I basically finished the entire look of it. Just, you know, if it looks like it was kind of placed awkwardly or not correctly, it's totally not it at all. I most definitely did not mess up the pattern and then have to start building outwards for it to actually work. Not it whatsoever, okay? I think we can all agree that I never make mistakes, so yeah. Call me Kakashi, because I'm perfect at copying my past techniques. It sounded so cheesy. Um, <laughs> so I believe the animal area is now completely done. Again, it doesn't need to be too crazy, but at the same time, it's kind of nice having something on top. I don't know, maybe what we do for our building style with this series is just everything, just kind of like a, like a spaghetti monster everywhere. We just have buildings going everywhere, overlapping each other. So it's just one like giant tall mess. I feel like that could be pretty fun since I've, I don't think I've ever done anything like that before, except for maybe the one block hard uh, one block lucky block hardcore series but any who's hello all of you let's move you up there if i had the inventory space oh my god we can actually remove these and actually have more walking space in front of our house oh this is insane and nice okay so maybe just so they're spread out for now we'll just have it all like one block apart from each other and then we should just go around start breeding all of you and, and you can do it pretty often actually getting to a thousand really wouldn't be that hard it's just i kind of don't want to come back to them every single minute you know as much fun as that sounds to just you know give them some more food like again like, i would love to do that as much as the next person but uh, eh now since you guys are pretty fully grown and i'm going to be needing you for all the animals let's go and harvest all of you Oh my, wait, we can actually, oh my gosh, we can actually enchant you. Okay, do I even have any emeralds where I can do some enchantments before we leave? That would be basically a no, like a pretty strong no. So first, before we head off, I think it would be pretty fun to actually enchant my bow, which I think we should put on some punch. And then honestly, God, uh, now let's do mending. Okay, perfect. All of these are completely empty and I think you know exactly what I'm planning to do right now. Now this may come as a surprise to you, but I do love to loot and I feel like I've waited long enough. I feel like we should go and do a vault run. Now here's the scary part. So 
in the beginning, whenever like, you know, you go into these vaults, if you die in there, the game's actually friendly to you and you don't lose anything. You keep your inventory. You just don't get the XP. I don't know what level that ends at, but I'm level nine currently for the vault. So I'm hoping that I still have that newbie, you know, friendly thing on or else this is going to kind of suck. And I feel like, oh, wait, I need a helmet. Ooh, honestly, just give me an iron one. I don't care. I just want something for my head. Just so we have a little bit more armor. I think we're in entirely ready if i'm forgetting anything i'm just gonna be really surprised even though I've, i'm pretty sure we can actually leave early and not have anything bad happen to us and then we use the torches as our markers for how to get out i i think that'll be smart Alrighty, boys so find the monos okay sweet sweet we only got three this is looking somewhat friendly i think the goal from remembering from the past is we just run straight and then we have 24 minutes to get through all of this there we go actually here that'll be our sign is the two torches on the wall that's how we'll get out of here sure i'll take that why not hey what's up boys i'm almost getting myself trapped i'm being such a little silly goose and then i think i just figured out why i hit so hard and it's because of our skill points if you want to put it like that like i'm pretty sure that's how you would say it Ooh, give me everything maybe it was a really good decision that i chose torches because we get so many out of here. Okay, this is becoming really stupid. Come on. I mean, with us only, ow. With us only having like this amount of monoliths to get, I really feel like we can just be chill and then not have to. Ah! I uh, care too much just because it'll be so easy to find them. It's really not going to take much time. I think I have it up ready again. There we go. That's what I meant to do. I'm not bad, I swear. Or am I like, ah, uh, kind of bad. God, I'm so funny. Hey, hi. Hi. My lord, dude. I'm just doing so much damage to you guys, and you're actually that tanky. I feel like I should always be upgrading my strength after every single run. I feel like I'll just become really, really weak if I stop doing that. I also need to read your comments again. I forgot what it was, but apparently the coins are actually really useful for upgrading something. I just don't remember what it was. My god, we haven't even made it through the first room, and I'm already using the second choker box. Like, I thought I was being overprepared by bringing in this many, but never mind. Apparently that's the correct amount. Hey, what, there's a crab? That's new. That's kind of cool. What's up, buddy? I hope you're actually an enemy. If we're not, I'm going to feel really awkward. Okay, you know, uh, you know what? We, we should probably really not focus. Oh, that's right. You. Okay, wait, there's one down there. Okay, here, before we leave this room, let's actually go get that one. Is it, yeah, instead of focusing so much on looting, we should probably go and get some of these monoliths because it's already been like five minutes. There we go. Jesus, man, you guys are a little bit too close for comfort. Actually, here, all of you come up here because I should actually kill you guys. One for the XP, but two also for that, like, shard currency that they drop when they die. I really hope all of this loot is actually worth it. Like, I'm pretty sure I say this every single time I come in here, but, like, wow, well, there's just a lot, and a lot of it looks really trash. There we go. Okay, we finally found some money. Oh, maybe if I use Vein Miner. Actually, let me try that. No, okay, never mind. I, I thought Vein Miner would let me cheat this a little bit and like mine it all up all together. Also, I heard someone spawn in, so kind of waiting on them. Uh, makes me a little nervous, but not really. There you are. Gosh, there's so much to loot. Oh dear God, dude, this this mod pack is legit my kryptonite. It just, it knows all my weaknesses. There's just so much to loot and so much for me to take. Oh God, and we're even on our third shulker. Okay, 16 minutes remaining. I mean, like, I don't want to make Davis super nervous. Like, I know, I know you're panicking and all, but yeah, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe pretty soon I'm going to start focusing on those monoliths. Alrighty, baby, have two monoliths in here. Okay, this ain't looking good. This is starting to look like a no monoliths. Okay. Oh, nope, there's one. Okay. Actually, in here, we might as well just go like this one. I kind of want to trigger every single enemy to spawn in. So we have like one giant fight. Oh my God. Okay, that was some... Um, Crab but dusty. I don't know what to call it. Oh, that's so cute. You guys are trying to get up right here. Aw. Oh, God. Wait, you guys are getting up right here. Ah, don't touch me. I mean, at least it makes things, like, a little bit exciting when I go and spawn in, like, a large amount of enemies like that. Oh, there you are. I was wondering why I was hearing so many of them. You enemies. Big summer blowout. No, no, no. Don't run. No, no, no. Don't be shy. Come here. You know, I was a little curious on how I had so many sticks because normally I never really make any sticks. Like, back in my inventory back at base. Uh, yeah, after going through a vault, uh, there's really no question why I have so many sticks and so much bread. Like really, like no question whatsoever in my mind. Wait a second. <sighs> It's this way, isn't it? Did I seriously not put down any torches? You see, for a normal person, that would have been an issue. But for me, I'm a master navigator. So, you know, pff, I already knew the way. Like, uh, 
I'm just using all these torches for all of your benefits. So like, I just, me personally, I wouldn't even need to like mark the way at all. I, I, I would just know it. Cause as I'm running around, I'm creating a 3D map in my mind and I'm actually mapping out this entire dungeon. Even the next rooms that I haven't even been to. Cause I'm a gamer. <laughs> Oh, dude, I thought he was crawling upside down. I was gonna be like, that's disgusting. Reminds me of Davis. Okay, we should probably be a little smart. We should not do that, but also what we should do. Don't 360 me. We should actually probably just go look for that last monolith now that we only have like six minutes remaining, which I'm really hoping that it's gonna be like all the other rooms and just be this way. Actually, here, what we could do is just use this one. There you are. See, I knew there was a monolith in here. Oh, you silly goose. Oh, man, you're being out guarded by all these enemies. Oh, you silly willy. I mean, I guess we could just keep going through. Like, we got three minutes. I think I'll be able to sprint fast enough to the vault. I mean, it's literally just a straight run. I think if I give myself like one minute, we should be good. Okay, if there's even any chest, hello? Whoa. Experience level zero out of eight. Right click to loot. Wait, I just gave you eight of my XP? Or eight of my levels? Please tell me Tenos' blessing is actually worth it. Brother. I really hope that that was actually worth it. Eight levels. Ugh. I mean, realistically, it shouldn't be that hard for me to get those levels back. I'm just hoping that it wasn't a waste. Oh, hi. On a fourth one. Oh my Jesus, hi. God, I wasn't expecting you guys to spawn right there. I was curious, like, what is this? Oh. Oh, I don't know what any of these are, but this, this is cool and it makes me feel good, so sure. Okay. Last spot right here. Tickle your toes. You guys weirdly have no loot. So I'm I'm getting a message from this like specific part. So yeah. Oh my Jesus, hi. Yeah, I'm getting a, a very clear message from this place. It's just not worth it. And yeah, we got like a minute and a half. So where's my exit? Okay, there you are. See, that was just like a rhetorical question. I already knew that it was right there because I'm a master navigator. Did I loot this over here? Yep, I did. Okay. No, I just had to check. I like to be thorough and way too easy. We had so much time to spare. If I'm being honest, I totally could have checked another room. It was just way too easy. See you later, mumbo jumbo. Ooh, because we killed 71 enemies. We actually almost leveled up from that. Looks like our loot was pretty decent. Sure, and woo! That guy's completed the vault too easy. Oh, that's right, we get a monolith crate. Now let's see, uh, knowing other mods, do you open by me crouching and looking in the air? No, okay, do you open by me doing it on the ground? Ah, there you are. Chip Jewel, Orb of Regret, yep, I regret reading you. Okay, and then you should give me a, hopefully a good chest plate. Okay, apparently I was hoping for too much when I said good. Four armor, six ability power, yeah, no. Give me some good, give me some good, give me some good. Come on, come on, some good, some good, some good, come on. Disgusting. Ugh. Oh, come on, you're so close. Dang, okay, wait, wait, wait. I mean, I kind of like this one just for all the enchantments out here. Maybe you're good for the vault? Gosh. You actually don't seem that bad. I mean, you gave me the literally the worst one out of every single randomized one that I could have gotten, but you know, just, just ignore that. Now the next thing for us to do another one, I kind of forgot it, but I need to make another vault key or a vault uh, jewel. <sighs> Okay, well, I don't know why me typing in vault brings up all of this, but sure, let's just look through. I do not remember how to make it at all. You, you, yes, you. Okay, vault, chipped vault rock with chromatic iron in the center. Gotcha. Okay, I remember it being somewhat simple, which, wow, we do I have a whole lot of those? Dear God. Oh my Lord. Yeah, okay, I got a lot of those and I got a lot of you. Okay, so with you, please be easy. I actually have every single one of those. <laughs> okay, so there's those ones. One, five, five, okay. And boop, just make that right now, why not? Thank you. Okay, we'll just load that up right now. And then, let me actually just go make another one. Just why not? I'm also really curious to see what the next one's gonna be. Because maybe by making all those farms, I actually over-prepared. Maybe I'm giving the vault key too much credit. Yeah, again, like that's crazy cheap. I have every single one of these. Actually, pfft, boom, boom. And then I'm just not even going to complete that one. We'll just wait on that. Yay, it's everyone's favorite time. Woo, time to go get organized. Yay. So much stuff to put away. Woo. Okay, did I have any system to organizing this stuff or did I just randomly throw things in the chest? Because that's kind of what I'm feeling like doing right now. Oh my God, that was so painful. 
we're finally done at the very least we have a metric ton of soul shards so yeah let me actually see if i can find every single one of them that i got i think this is everything i'm curious if i have enough or anything good in here because i remember this being fun but again how many do I have? Wait, is this seriously not even 500? Or an unknown item? I mean, I, I like to gamble, so that one seems really fun to me, but... Okay, I guess we just keep holding on to all of these. Whatever. But if I'm being honest, I kind of want to just go do another run. Just because... Like, I just, ah, God, I love looting. I love looting, and I want to see if there's anything different in these. I know that there's different tiers of vault keys to actually make. I only know how to make this one, and I'm kind of scared to go and do the other ones probably also doesn't help that i don't know how to level up just in case uh, if i have any more levels for the vault stuff but like i kind of feel like we should go and have fun with another one oh my lag hello welcome everyone to my slideshow i hope you guys are ready for my presentation in class today oh wait we're back okay cool yeah i've kind of Whoa, okay, well, that was fast. But yeah, I kind of feel like doing another one. Hello, I need four of you. Oh, okay, there's the walls. Oh, this one looks fun. Oh, God. Okay, so this one will actually need to be somewhat careful because that might actually be really difficult to find the entrance to leave. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I just see you? There you are. You're up there. Okay. No. Oh, phew. Oh, oh. Got one down. Goodbye, slime. Ooh, hello, items. Meow. That would have, like, really sucked if I missed. Ow? Oh, of course. Slimes go stinky poo-poo. Yeah. Oh, of, of course. And then the cloud chases me. And, you know, it's about to kill me. Yes, yes. What is it? Is that actually the slimes? I was kind of joking, but I think it's actually them. Okay, well, hey, now at least now I found a purpose for my bow since I never get to use it. Oh, my God. That is starting to come towards me. I'm a little trapped. I don't really feel like water bucketing off the edge. Okay, okay that was fun. No, 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 no. Actually, you know what? I think I do dare. Let's go down. Okay. Yep. I was hoping for like a one of you at a time. Is that a baby spider? Am I going crazy or is that like really small for a spider? Like, I think that was actually a baby spider. I kind of want to collect the lanterns. Like, they're actually really nice. I don't know where they spawned in, but I hate that I hear them so well. Uh, just let me, just let, just let, let, let me, let me put this all away, please, please. Strong, come, don't come. Let's just immediately head off to the second room. I just really don't feel like looking around too much for the loot because I don't think the loot in this kind of a dungeon is actually worth risking anything for. Yep, found it. Too easy. Let's see. How do we get down? Uh, nice. Yeah, not nice. Really not nice. Thank you. That has to be a baby spider. Yeah, what are you? Mana? Sure. There you go. Thank you. Take it. See, the mana I have no problem because I just regain it. Like, that's literally nothing. I mean, technically, I also regain all the XP, but you know. I can loot faster than the slime moves. Come on. Yes. Okay, I think I got everything right there. Whoop, run. I don't want to fight slimes. I don't like them. Okay. Re really? Can I hit you? Oh, God. Unidentified vault idol. Oh, you're gonna be so much fun to use when we get out. Once we get out of here, I also need to remember to actually go through and make my stuff into netherite because I have a lot of uh, ancient scrap or whatever this is called. Yeah, netherite scrap. A lot of those, but I never use them for some reason. Just keep running. Just keep running. I love how these vaults always have a monolith right in the next room. You never have to go exploring. I wonder if there's a second one in here. Like, I feel like that's not too much to ask for. Like, I feel like I should actually find another one down below. Like, that, that felt way too easy. Even though, like, every single one of these vaults has been, like, astronomically easy. The vaults are super hard. Ah, they're so difficult. I'm just saying that because I know it's gonna, like, I'm gonna regret saying that. Like, I, I already know that the future vaults are very, very difficult. Oh, I hope these coins are worth it. I hope you're not garbage. Okay, yep, that was smart. Okay, yep. There we go. Might as well just start killing all of you. You're still alive. How are you still alive? Okay, at least they poison each other. That makes me really happy. Uh, at least I'm not the only one getting affected by the poison. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder what it's like to run a vault with people. Like to have like an actual like co-op team going. I wonder if that's any fun. Don't miss. Okay, I missed. At least I don't really take any fall damage. Maybe. Alrighty. Uh, gameplay for me. Where is it? <gasps> oh, okay. Phew. I was gonna say, no way they just threw me a curveball and it's a room without one. Like, no, no way. I don't know. 
I'm waiting. Might as well just use this water bucket. Come up. Uh -huh. No, you're not using my water bucket to get back up here. Uh-uh. Nope, you can go down. Yep, that's right. Get out of here, boy. All right, well, at the very least, you know, we got 14 minutes to run around and loot everything that we want. So we have so much time. I don't know why that keeps, like, making a dinging noise as if I'm getting something good. Like, are vault diamonds actually good? Oh, maybe that's why you make the vault gear. Because I keep reading comments about you guys saying how the vault gear is apparently really good. Ah! Back streets back. All right. Come on, Billy. You got to have some good loot in here somewhere. No, not the back streets on their sun. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go that far down. I feel like at that point, I'm going to start getting confused on where I am. Isn't it the deeper I go? Pause. Isn't it the farther I go into the vault, the better the loot is? I mean, I guess we can try this direction. Maybe see if it's actually true. I mean, we still got 11 minutes. So I mean, we, we got time to spare. Just need to remember to actually leave on time. So I give myself enough time to get out of here. Is there no chest in this one other than like I were to go down kind of don't want to hello oh here we go here's some loot I knew you silly willies rolling it uh, oh, okay never mind okay now correct me if I'm gorgeous but you guys are the ones with the good loot right oh guess I'm gorgeous yep definitely am <laughs> oh my god I'm blushing oh my god stop where did are you guys down there <laughs> you guys actually spawn down there <laughs> Well, hey, don't mind me. I'm gonna see. Yeah, there we go. Free loot. Don't even need to fight you guys. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Nice. Okay, well, I'll see you guys later. Ooh, not ooh. Whatever. Like up seven and a half minutes long. Whatever. Okay, so that's clearly a lie. The farther you go into a dungeon, the better the loot is. Yeah, I, I'm not believing that. Unless you just have to go like crazy far. But so far, everything is just a carbon copy of itself. So it seems like once you've seen one room's loot, you've seen all the rooms. Alrighty, well, I mean, we still got a lot of time. Might as well just go into the next room. Hello? Any god tier weapons in here and armor? I mean, we're off to a good start, you know? You guys got chests right up front. Thank you for all the shards. I'm also just looking to fight a lot of them just so I can keep on getting a lot of those shards. So now I understand how insanely nice those are. Well, I mean, I always knew why they were nice. Where's that spider? There you are. Don't touch me. Okay, how did you touch me? You're, you're not even close. What? Oh, hi. <laughs> Thank you for making noise. I didn't even know that you were there. It's just like in every single movie ever when the, the good guy has a jump on the bad guy. He's like, I'm coming. And he starts screaming and then he gets caught and then he loses. Yeah, that's exactly what you just did right there, bud. Oh, dear God. Uh, it just had to be more of the slimes. Oh, hey, look, found a fifth one. Mm, sweet. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, I would love even more hearts and even more loot. I actually believe that I pretty much went through this entire room and we could go that direction. It's just we're starting to cut close on time. Actually, we'll take a quick peek in here, but I can't really do too much because I'm a little worried about time. Like I'm starting to get there. See any immediate chest? No. Okay, so this is when we actually have to run around and find the chest. I think I just found another monolith. Nope, I just found some enemies right there, though, but I think there's a monolith down there. Anyways, I have like two and a half minutes. This is actually going to be kind of a run. We might have enough time to get back to the vault because we are pretty far, as long as I just don't get lost. Which, I mean, like, come on, have I ever gotten lost before? Like, it's going to be the easiest thing ever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the first room. Okay, well, what I was... Okay. What I was planning on doing was like a really cool like fall, but then like I would do like that little jump boost thing and like pew would like save myself, you know? Like I was gonna be like really dope, but okay, thanks Ken. <sighs> Making me look like Davis right now, dear God. But way too easy. What can I say? Oh, we actually did level up. Nice. Beginner's insurance, that's what it is. Chest, wait, chest cannot be trapped. Uh, oh, ah, keep inventory, but receive a durability penalty. Ah, that's what it was. Yeah, so that, that was one that I really like. <gasps> See, okay, un, one unspent skill point, one unspent expertise point. Yes, cool. How do I use them though? Oh God, okay, well, I have to figure it out because I don't want them to be right there in my face the entire time. Yeah, just give me that one. There we go, might as well just open you up. There we go. Yeah, might as well open up you. Okay, please give me something good. Like, pretty please, pretty please with a cherry on top. I, I just saw a really cool axe in there, please. Dang it. Man, I saw like a really, really cool, like full on red one in there. Like it looks sick. Just like that. I'm seeing a lot of cool swords in there. Please give me something cool. Please, please. Oh my God, dude, that, that is dope. Ah, man, yeah, that's a pay cut for Davis. Something good, something good, something good. 
Dang it. 4, 4.5, 4, 4.5. And eh, you're like a little bit better for my ability power, but like, eh. No, my vault boots are way better. Ugh. Well, you already know the drill. Uh, it is time for me to go through and cry a little bit because, oh my God, I have so much to put away. <laughs> Everything's put away. However, you know, I kept the fun thing. So which idol that's all looking identical. I, I think there's only one idol. Wandar affinity poison immunity. What? So can I just like put this anywhere in here? No, but I could just put it there. Cool. I don't really know what that does whatsoever. I'm hoping that it's actually really good. I don't know. Maybe you guys are like freaking out being like, oh my gosh, he actually got that. I don't know. And then for magnets, wow, that is all looking like the exact same magnet. <laughs> so let's see, three velocity, 1.3 range. That is an ungodly amount of durability at almost 15,000, but I'm sick. Sure, we'll just put that on. Also, don't know what that one does either. So I figured out one thing is apparently this was to find the quest. Oh. oh my God. Wait, I think I actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been doing some of these. Yeah. I remember you and I think this one was actually like incredibly difficult. Yeah, that's right. So apparently like if I use, you know, these vault potions to heal me, I'll do like hundred percent. If I use anything else, I only get 80% of its powers. So blah, blah, blah. But I mean, I would attempt to make it. I just don't know how to find it. So I'm okay. Oh God. Wait, no, that's right. I can't even continue it without it. Oh boy. I wish I could just click on it and then it would just tell me. You, I think you're it. Oh, I think this is the, oh my God. Okay, well, the vial one is kind of cool. I believe I can actually make that one right now. Like that's really cheap. I'm looking at the brew one, which is over, I, I, I don't know. It's like what, 125%, 150% better than the vial, which doesn't look that hard. It's just all of the other items, especially you and Echo Pog. So if anyone's watching this on Twitch, they're going crazy, right? Oh my God. So a lot of Pogs. To make a Pog, you need all of that. Oh my God. Okay, you're, you're starting to lose me game. At least we'll start with you. So there's need chromatic iron, glass, red mushroom. I think I have all of those. I would really appreciate it if I had all of those. Uh, what if I said it like that? Oh my God, dude, I'm going to lose my mind if I have to listen to these villagers anymore. Like uh, they're actually starting to make me go crazy. They never shut up. Anyways, before we continue on with that one, because I think that we should actually go around and travel and find some mushrooms, especially since I don't have the red or the brown ones. And I know that there was some mushroom ores, I think right there, yeah. So we can actually go get both of the uh, mushroom types right there, which is a super long journey, which can I make a temporary one? Yes, temporary one. Okay, cool. Which we just need to go 2000 blocks for it. But also press this one. Boom. This is how we see all of our skill points. And oh my Lord, that is so much. Okay. So that is a massive amount of them damage. There we go. That's why I do so much. And I feel like the most important one for me to actually use right now, just to keep leveling up is going to be our heal. I don't really think that there was anything else other than like maybe an eternal, but like even then I don't think they're that good. Maybe in the future vaults, I'll definitely want that one, but I think healing is just gonna be a lot better to just keep on upgrading one, you know, shorter cooldown, but I would really like it if it could start healing like half of me. So I think we use one there. And then I just realized that I also could have used it over here. So I do even more damage. <laughs> So, oops. Well, we do have an expertise and I feel like fortune might be our best one. Yeah, I think I just want to do fortune. It's probably not the smartest, but oh well. Next up, we should actually focus on all those quests because I feel like following the quest line, I did hear you. I feel like following the quest line will actually help me get to the end of this entire mod pack, which, you know, is the end goal. Don't spit at me. Have I always moved this fast through water? Like, I feel like that's a lot faster than normal. <gasps> oh, our farms are actually growing. Alrighty, boys, we got a fun adventure ahead of us. Let's head out. Also wish that there was a way just to uh, go faster in boats. That or I really miss Elytras. Like, I can't lie, playing all these mod packs really makes me miss that in-game stuff. It's also kind of weirdly nice to just go around on a boat and maybe a horse soon. Like, I should probably try that out as well for land travel. But it's just very different but it's 
kind of enjoyable instead of just flying everywhere and immediately accessing whatever location that you're trying to get to. Like, I don't know, it's just different. Something about it. Well, it was gonna be really happy arriving here. I was gonna say sick, you know, we finally found the mushrooms, but I'm hoping that lightning doesn't hit this forest and starts lighting on fire. And I'm also curious, what happens if I do this? Wow, that actually works. That is so sick. That's not sick though. Yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna sleep through it. It's just, you know, thunderstorms in this game, really cool and all. It's just, they're so loud and everything's so dark. And it's just, I don't know. I don't think it's like an enjoyable watching experience. You, you feel me? Ah, oh, you see, it's just so much nicer. Okay, maybe I'm not getting a lot because I'm using the bucket. Cause yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing any of you dropping. Oh, okay, there we go. Fine, fine, no bucket. God, this destroys it. But thinking uh, back to my new uh, animal pins whoops yeah thinking back to my new animal pins i actually think we never need to worry about experience because what i can do is actually just keep on breeding all of the animals in there and then whenever i need to repair any of my tools i just go over and then you know just take all the animals inside also i just want to mention what the heck are you doing dog but i i didn't want to mention that but i wanted to mention okay can you die that's not what i wanted to mention what i really wanted to mention is i'm kind of curious to see everyone's favorite moments from my videos if you have any and i feel like the greatest location or the greatest website to for every one of us to view it and then just build a community would be tiktok so i'm kind of curious if any of you if you just want to start posting on tiktok your favorite moments from videos and streams and stuff you know i think it would be a fun way to connect and see does my axe have oh wait is that what you do i mean you're a magnet duh but like you actually attract items towards me that's amazing oh my god i feel like i'm playing all the mods eight. Oh, i love that i love magnets it's incredible because it just allows me to be so lazy while all of my items come towards me I'm just, yes please sign me up okay we have a metric ton of mushrooms now and that's strictly just because they're so easy to get so that's good and we should definitely head home now because my god do we have a long journey don't shoot me don't shoot me don't do it oh we should also really upgrade our bow i think for the first time in my life i actually want infinity <gasps> Wait, I just realized, wait, wait, wait. That has mending. I think this mod pack actually allows us to have mending and infinity on the bow together. Like that's actually incredible. Woo, ah, oh, man, what a tough journey of holding control forever. So how do you even make a mushroom farm? Because I think I've only ever made one in my entire life. I should probably harvest you. Like I actually don't know how it works. I'm like, do you still need to make it underground in the dark? Like, is that the only way for it to work? Cause I don't know and I'm a little curious in it. Here, we'll just throw all of you into there. And then boom, bop, bing, and we make you. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. So we actually did complete this one. Perfect. And thank you so much for my one ender pearl. Crazy amount. I know. And then another thing is I don't even like that's actually worse than my power. Like maybe this would actually be useful in vaults, but I'm just thinking like that's just going to waste inventory space. Like I'd rather have an extra slot to loot even more, be even faster. So I don't even know if I should bring the vial with me. Wow. You guys respond like really fast and you respond with absolutely nothing. Dang. Okay. It's really nice one shotting though. That's a lot of fun. So I mean, was the vial completely useless for me to make? Most likely, yes. However, at least now we can actually continue on with the quest and we're we're actually not that far from completing everything it looks yeah and more to come okay i mean like it doesn't look like we're too far from completing at all i say that but then probably all of the vault professional players are like huh, he's not even one percent wait is this seriously my first under pearl? wow but next up so unaliving mobs inside of the vault will award the player's soul shards soul shards can be used as currency for the black market and as a crafting ingredient oh really a chance for soul shards to drop can be increased by modifying gear with soul chance or by equipping the Idona's dagger. Soul shards can be stored within the shard pouch and wait, infinitely. Wait, what? Craft a shard pouch? Wait, that's a thing? Please don't be difficult. Please don't be difficult, please, please. Okay. Oh my God, wait, that's actually so cheap. Except for the purple wool. That's the only thing that's making me a little nervous about all of this, but oh my God, that's so cheap. And it stores unlimited of them? Just wait, wait, wait. So it stores unlimited amount of soul shards and soul shards picked up will go directly into the pouch. Oh my God, I'm in love with this item already. Oh yes, yes. Okay, well, here's that. Boom, boom. And then for wool, how do you make purple? That's all that I need there. How do you make purple dye? 
I mean, like when I say purple die, I don't mean like purple dying, like to, you know, to unalive purple. I mean, like, how do you make this? Oh, cool. Yeah, you just have to get something that's purple. Okay, so just blue and red. Got it. My God, dude, I love this magnetism so much. This magnetism has the same effect as me when I'm at the club. All the girls just magnetize towards me. <laughs> oh, that was so cringe. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, I sounded like Davis. Oh god, that was so cringe. <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna search around for any blue flowers. Let's just go use some lapis. Please tell me I have some. Oh my gosh, yes, I have a lot. Okay, you to you, purple. I feel like I'm Gojo. I just realized, wow, yeah, you just combine blue and what? Blue and red and make purple. Yeah, no, it's exactly like in the anime. That's crazy. Okay, so all of you realize I didn't need to get that much dye, but then we go just like this and hello, gorgeous. All right, well, we'll just keep the purple on it. We'll keep the purple hollow just in case if like Toji comes by or something. Okay, so now that we have all of you, so if I just, you know, just drop this on the ground. It actually just automatically goes in. Dude, this is so incredible. Oh, I love this item. Please tell me there's more like it. I'd actually cleared up a pretty decent amount of my storage. We have 627. I like it how we can actually tell the exact amount that we have as well. That part's really nice to me. I really want to use this just to make one, but at the same time, I kind of don't because I'm leaving that there for future me. So I always know how to make the vault key so I don't have to search it up again. Uh, wasn't it like I need to go find like vault cobblestone or something? Like I remember it was something down in the mines and then parts can actually drop. I don't know if I'm able to smelt the block and then like place it down again and try for another shard like gravel, but I'm pretty sure it should be one of the rooms like around here. You, yes, you, you're right. Yeah, vault cobblestone. Cobblestone. Yeah, I already got four. <laughs> wait, why did I cover this up? Oh, wait, no, I didn't cover this up. Wait, was the entrance really right here? Oh, uh, see, Davis. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, why did you have to make a hole right here? Like, I told you to just keep going down. Like, oh, you, you never listen. Here, let's go through and collect a lot. Please tell me that in the first 100 days, I didn't go through here and then mine these out one by one. Like, please tell me that I actually did use this little vein miner thingy. Like, I, I really hope I wasn't that much of a silly goose to where, like, I didn't use this incredible mod. There's no way I did because that, that was so incredibly fast. There's no way I wouldn't have done that. Well, yep, yeah, at least I got 30. 34 shards. Oh, I actually, we're not even done. New, new. I'm going to get more. There we go. Now we have 36. That's insane. I mean, at the very least, I never have to care about any torch whatsoever because my god i do one vault run and i come back with 500 and you know what we might as well just make as many vault keys as we can oh yeah, nice we can actually make nine of you actually there we go that, that should be very easy to recognize and then you go here and then you give me a very simple recipe okay again like very weirdly easy why am i making another one when i have the vault right there oops i pfft spaced out don't know what i was doing i was being a little silly goose oh god wait can i not drop this into it because of my magnetism okay that's actually insane wait can i just like right click you on it no okay wait so you actually have to drop this it's a little silly so every time i want to make one i just have to drop or take off my magnetism got it okay well before i click that one at least we do have you it's just oh wait 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 before we even go in there oh yeah, because I only got two of you, so I can't even enchant that with infinity. And I do like using my bow sometimes. Ah, uh, hmm. How's the black market doing? Are we able to get anything? We can get an unknown item or a vault sword. Ah, oh, man. I mean, you're really cheap, so you're probably not good. The unknown item makes me a little excited because it's like gambling, so sure. Oh, I regret grabbing that. That was a complete waste of money. Yep, that's exactly how gambling goes, kids. <laughs> Please don't be bad, please, please. I already see you hovering over the war shields, please. Oh God, I got a basic one. 6.5 thorns damage, chilling cloud when hit. I don't know what that, do oh wait, maybe I freeze enemies when I'm hit? I mean, should I have the vault idol or should I have the shield? Cause I don't know which one's better. And I can't keep you anywhere. I wish I could put it on my back. It would honestly make sense. But yeah, so far all of that is just really bad. But alas, we should actually focus on you guys. I do have some honey, but we do need to make more honey. I also need a lot more bottles. Oh my beige. Actually, let's get rid of you. Why are you still up? So nice. Why, hello there, my bees. Have I, wait, do I not have a lot of bees? Do I need to make more bees? I feel like there's not a lot of you in here. Okay, let's start dealing with you guys. I mean, I really wanted to go into the vault, but let's actually start worrying, or at least start focusing on earning some emeralds and honestly i don't 
think I need this much space for my chest. I think past me made this entire area for the villagers and my chest. But, you know, I think we're okay if we just like put them over here. So we have enough honey to make at least four of these, but we don't want the bottom side to look ugly. And we put you underneath just to be safe so that the honey never gets broke. Oh, okay. And then let's have some fun. You know, I believe I got this from the vault. So whenever I go back in there, I'll just try and get more of these. But it's just so I don't use wood anymore. And I don't want to use like blocks like this. So I think this should stand out really well for the villagers. And I, I think it will encourage them to work because it's like, oh, wow. Why is the stone so bloody? The last villager gave me bad trades. Um, uh, Maybe it'll work out in my favor. And honestly, I think we should just make a lot of fletching tables. Oh, God, please tell me I have more. Actually, wait, this should be really easy if I just do this. Okay, I got a feeling that this prevents it from turning into flint. Okay, I'm very positive it prevents it. Okay, so never mind. We have to be um, more basic and go the old strat. Do I have fortune? No. Wait, I have silk? Ah, oh, I have silk touch. Ah, uh, I told you it wouldn't work, Davis. Actually, what? Oh my god, I could have done that the entire time? Oh my. Why did I think that that wouldn't work? Ah. Oh. I could have been doing this so much faster. Oh my god, that's so much faster. Okay, that should be more than enough. I don't care to get more. Okay, with all of that said, uh, please tell me. I mean, I don't have the carry-on mod anymore, but am I still able to pick you up? Oh, <gasps> yes. Okay. Oh, no. Wait, are you... Please do not tell me that you're actually stuck with that profession. I really hope I can actually, like, redo your job. Okay, well, you were already a Fletcher and did that with you. You're now a Fletcher. We might kill you. We might kill you or might make you make more villagers, but everyone else is actually correct, but yeah. Wait, why can I cycle your trades right now? That, that's weird. Okay, fine. We'll put you back. Okay, you might be one of the lucky ones that just has to make more villagers. Oh, gee, this is going to be so hard to get a stick trade. Wow, would you look at that? They have stick trades. Whoa. <laughs> now, let's see. Do I... Oh, okay. Couldn't even finish that sentence. I... Duh, of course I have a lot of sticks. Are you kidding me? I went into all of those vaults. Actually, that's really smart to make a whole lot of sticks stick trades i almost never even need to make the sticks because every time i go into the vault i'll just come back with fifteen thousand sticks like oh, this is amazing actually wait whoopsies i should probably also hold my tools out so that they can get repaired and then honestly i couldn't care less about all of this spruce wood just because i have a lot of spruce trees right there so yeah let's just focus on making money today oh 57? Oh my god, I should hit you with the axe for that. Okay, so at least you're kind. You wanted 31. 57? Dude, you should join him in getting hit with an axe. Oh, okay, thank you. I love you. Come on, just refresh your trades, please. Don't make me make more. Actually, speaking of more, can I even go and get more money? So how fast do the bees work? All right, you guys are actually pretty decent. And then don't mind if I do. We might as well go and make another. And then there we go. Ah, oh, dang it. I got to hold the tool. Okay, so we have a decent amount of emeralds now. Let's see. Are all of my tools completely upgraded? That would be yes. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. So you actually have to pick and choose. So you can't have everything that you want. Ah. Oh. Um, I feel like for an axe, it's better to have silk touch compared to fortune three. So yeah. Oh no, we can't even have infinity. I'd rather have mending. And then as for my armor, oh my me, just go through because now all of this stuff is basically free with how cheap it is. And then see, like, since we just have so many of you, might as well just go and make as many netherite ingots that we can. It's nice. We can get seven from that. And then from there, let's just go and make everything in another right what does this do that scares me i don't want to touch that and perfect now we're even stronger my god we really progressed like really fast but then since i did just use up all of my spruce wood let's just go and collect some more of these and then i think i'm ready to go do another vault run part of me just really wants to focus on that and just do a lot of vault runs plus i'm pretty sure you guys wanted that very nice so i just spent a little bit of time just breeding the bees getting more of those just so we can get honey even faster even though they're pretty relatively fast but without further ado, I think I'm ready for another vault run. Pretty soon, I would like to try out the harder vaults. But, up oh my god, I need to find seven of them. Okay, we are, oh my Jesus. 
We're barely gonna be looting. Oh my god, that is actually a lot of monoliths. These, this might come close. So what I was going to say is since these are a lot easier than the harder vaults, duh, I feel like we should actually focus on just like, just cranking out a lot of these. Just do a whole lot of uh, easy vault runs just so I can get more levels, more items, and oh my dear god. Wow, there's quite a lot of you. Is there even one in here? Oh, okay, it's up there. Okay, can you get away from me? Thank you. We will try and kill every single enemy that we come up against, though, if they'd stop running from me, just so we can keep on getting more experience to level up. Also, more of those shards. God, I love you. Oh, it's picking it up for me. Okay, where's staircase going up? Staircase going up. Even though, oh man, I wish I could just jump up there. Excuse me, don't mind me. Where did, there you are. Okay, perfect. Even though there were just enemies right there and I was talking about how I want to attack every single enemy. Let's just go. I'm not going to lie. These little soul sand patches everywhere. Yeah, that's they, starting to annoy me. I kind of regret putting that on my boots. If there's one in here. I have a feeling it's going to be on the second floor. A strong feeling it's not down here. Hey, look, it's down here. This might be the first run where I don't loot. Honestly, it just comes down to how fast do I find all the monoliths. And then if I have time left, then I'm going to go back and actually start looting. Okay, let's check up here. No. Oh my god, there's a chicken jockey right behind me. Monolith, monolith, monolith. Come on. It's probably down there. If only I can see. Oh dear god, I wish I could see. God, dude, this soul sand is actually going to get me killed. It's constantly making me run into enemies. Ah, no, 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 we can loot this. Why not? It's right here. Chill. Chill, daddy chill. You heal, right? No, you just give me extra hearts. Okay, cool. Do I have that vial? No, of course I don't. Okay. God, I hate this screen shake so much. Just run, just run, just run. Need to stay on top of healing and moving. That's not good. Why did that guy have a red cloud around him? I'm not seeing any monolith in this place. This is not looking too good. So I got 20 minutes though. We got time. Okay, are you guys coming up the stairs after me? So I'm what? Okay, why do you have icons? Why is there a guy with a trophy? Oh, okay, because you're harder. Gotcha. And then you're all like his bodyguards. Okay. Woo, there we go. Okay, cool. I don't know what any of that gave me, but wow, I feel so much better after killing all these enemies. Please, 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 please. I don't know if I'm able to go back through the portal without getting all the monoliths, or does it just count as a failure and it kills me if I try to go back through without getting all of them? Oh, dear God, these rooms are way too big. Please leave me alone. Please don't touch me. You're ah, ah, chasing me. Ah, let's see if I can land it. Okay, nice. Ooh, thank you so much. I will be stupid and try and collect all of that. Uh, this is really terrible because I really need to put down my shulker boxes so I can put away all my loot. Okay, there's no way two rooms in a row don't have a monolith, right? Come on, what happened to all my luck before? I'm just gonna go with there's none in there, whatever, just next. Just in case if there actually is none in there, I don't wanna waste my time. Oh, we should just farm the level one vaults, you know? Let's go for the easy ones, farm it up and get strong. And then they give me this. Okay, where is it? Okay, there's one up there. Is that it? Just one? Okay, just one. How? I think it's over here. Make it. Okay, good. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh my god. Fine here. Oh my god, I can't loot it. Okay, this is really awkward. Honestly, I uh, just dropped a gold nugget. Whatever. I don't care. Is it seriously not up here? Was that? Oh my god. It actually was just showing me that stupid statue. Oh my. Uh, no, and I can't even reach you guys. Okay, but I can break you. Come on. Okay, I don't want to fall. Whatever. Just fight me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> I'm not confident in this whatsoever. Last three, not two, but three rooms do not have a monolith. Please, for the love of God, have one in here, please. Like, I feel like you have to at this point. Like, you have to have a monolith. Honestly, I don't even care to fight. Uh, you guys can chase me. I really don't care. Did I get a glitched vault? Like, does it, does this vault know that it needs to spawn in monoliths? I feel like it doesn't. Eh, oh my, oh my God. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to try and speed up this, whatever. Okay, allegedly there's one right there. Please don't be a stupid little trophy thingy, whatever it was before. There you go. Uh, Hurry, launch me up. There we go. Oh, well, I lost. I lost, whatever. We have 15 minutes left. Past four rooms now do not have a monolith in it. Yeah, there, there's no way I'm winning. Whatever, here. You want 14 levels? There you go. Well, I um, forget this room. Uh, we might as well go to the next one. And that one's close too. And that one over there is close too. Okay, so this is a completely useless room. Okay, is it even smart to check this room or should I just go to the next one because this one's gonna be empty? Oh my God, it's empty. Dude, just give me one. I'm not asking for much. I'm literally asking to play the game. I'm not even looting. Actually here, while we even have a chance, 
just in case if anything were to happen, you know, like if I need to lose something, at least now I can. Please, please. Last six rooms now did not have one, please. Like I didn't mean to open up my inventory there, but that could have been really bad. I don't even know if I still have that, uh, like the noob friendly thing where it lets me keep uh, my inventory when I die. Like, I don't even know if I have that. <gasps> oh my God, it was a monolith. Oh my God. Oh dude, that's insane. Oh my gosh, the game is finally playing fairly and giving me stuff. Oh my gosh. Who knows, maybe I can get lucky. Maybe this is the lucky run now. You know, the next four rooms are gonna have a monolith. Like, I don't even feel like checking around. I feel like just waiting until my ability refreshes and then it'll just tell me if there's anything here. I actually think that's the smartest thing to do because why jump down there if there's no monolith? Uh, Cool, so we have to go that way next. That's gonna get a little confusing. Uh, Here, while we're waiting. Okay, nothing in this room. Awesome, just wasted like maybe a minute in here. Maybe two minutes. Actually, no, I think it was like two minutes. <gasps> oh my gosh, another monolith. Oh my god. Okay, is it possible to have two in one area? I forgot if that's possible or not. I think it's possible, but it's very, very unlikely. Actually, I'm stupid. Why? Okay, wait, wait. Okay, I thought I saw one down there, but no. Okay, just don't don't be stupid. Just go next area. Just go next area. There's no point whatsoever in checking. Here, just so I can loot a little bit. Did I even mark down? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. I came from there. Even if I find all the monoliths, I can't even loot now because of how far that we're running. I'm gonna have to sprint straight back into the vault. Like the the, uh, the door. Thank you. Oh my god, it was right here. Okay, next room. Quickly looking around. Scanning, scanning, not seeing anything immediately. Nothing's jumping out at me. Goodbye. Okay, didn't want you guys to spawn in. Don't hurt me. Oh my god. Whatever, just go next. This is why I was focusing on my healing ability. So one in here. Yes, back there. Okay. Please do not be a shrine. It's only one. It's showing one block. Does that mean it's a shrine? The stupid shrine. Don't care. Goodbye. I wish it wouldn't show me those. Like, I, I actually wish. Uh, okay, just continue this way. Yes. Oh my god. Okay, shrine right there. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Heal me. There's no other shrine in here. Don't even look around. Just go. Okay, can this stupid baby zombie stop chasing me? There we go. I hate you. Go, 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 go. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. I think I just saw it. Oh, no. Okay, it was just a block. Okay, whatever. Next. I should wait here. You. I think that's a... I think that's a stupid shrine. I don't think that's a monolith. Uh, we got seven minutes. I think I can go look. Very strong on the I think though. Very shocked. Oh, oh my God, it's a monolith. Okay, good. Okay, nope, not even looting at all. We're going straight back to the beginning. I dropped way too far. I dropped way too far, way too far, way, way. Ow. Please, 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 please. Oh my God, you guys can go up water. Of course you can. Why couldn't you? Okay, fine. We're going to focus on killing and then going. Uh, I was so worried that there's going to be a lot of enemies. I'm glad that there's barely any of you guys okay oh my jesus christ almighty oh my god legit where did he come from he was not up there oh my god props to me for not cursing holy hey all my past problems are coming back to effect man oh, yeah. all my poor choices are here to welcome me run just run just run just run oh my god i'm gonna have to fight everyone i skipped aren't i if i can just make it back to the very first room i'll start looting that one and then depending on how much time we have that'll determine if i go to the next room to loot but yeah this is this is definitely an interesting run i i didn't know it can get this stupid oh yeah the irs coming to collect my taxes yeah, I should really focus on up what was that? I should really focus on upgrading my damage more though. I want to be a way heavy hitter. Like I'm talking one shot. Nice. I think I've gotten like 200 shards from this so far and we're not even killing everything. Okay, well now we are going to be killing everything. Oh my god. I'm not BTS. No, please leave me alone. Stop asking for autographs. Okay, can I land a hit? Oh yeah, don't don't jump down there though. Ooh, man. Sure is a jog. Okay, at least now we're cutting the corner. Okay, we're about halfway back to the portal and this ain't looking good for us to be looting. Where are my torches? Did I leave them over here? There's no shot someone came through and broke my torches. I put them down every single time. It has to be this one. I'm I'm very positive it's this one. If we don't see any torches in here, then we know that we just went the wrong way and we need to go back. Hello? Dude, wait, where are my torches? Why are they gone? I placed them down on every single entrance that I enter through and exit through. Hello? Oh my god, we we, we might we might just die. Uh, this might be the end of us. There's uh, the torches over there, but there's no torches here. Oh, wait, oh my God, there's my torches up there. Okay, cool. So someone most definitely went through and destroyed my torches at that one part. Okay, we almost just lost. We might still have it. Did I ever get any Kiwis? Oh, 
dude. If we actually get lucky and we find some Kiwis, we might be able to add some time in case I can't make it all the way back. But that requires me to loot and I'm way too scared to loot. Okay, there we go. There we go. Here's my hallway to get back to the portal. It's a straight shot from here. We got two and a half minutes. We're making good time. Get out of my way. I'm not fighting you guys. Screw off. I'm no, nope, nope. I, I will tank it. I'm running through you. No, 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 no. That's not fair. Uh-uh. <laughs> nope. I, I don't care about your ambush. Oh my God. How far did I run? Dude, am I even gonna make it back to the portal? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, there it is. Holy, we got one minute. I'm gonna give myself 30 seconds run back to the that vault, but we got a minute to look for any chest around here, which the this ain't looking too good. Okay, why why did so many of you just spawn in? Please, 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 just one chest. That's all I'm asking for, just one, just one. I'm just a poor boy, please. I, I just, I need something. My mom's gonna call me a loser if I go back empty handed, come on. Is this a kill vault? Like, am all I supposed to do is just kill things? Like, is there actually not supposed to be loot in here? Is there like that different of vaults? Let's see how fast I can loot anything in here. Okay, there we go, whatever, we got 20 seconds, go. I should be able to make it, don't care, take damage, go. Imagine if I died, like I just didn't make it back in time. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was such an unbelievably stupid vault. That was so unbelievably stupid. I think I deserve something good after that. Like, come on. I, I, I would like some loot. Oh, okay. Got a garbage shield. I've always wanted one of those. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I didn't want one garbage shield. No, no, no. I wanted two. Here, if I walk slow enough, they'll actually follow me up to my chest. Can you make it up? Can you make it up, buddies? Okay. And then I think this is helmets. Please something good. Something amazing. God tier. Okay, cool. Let's see. Five armor compared to my two, but that one has like all those cool enchantments, but I think just for that health and then item quantity, like sure. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, dude, I look pretty cool. Dude, I look pretty Sagoy Desu. <laughs> All right, don't mind me. Time to go and get organized. Oh, nice. Now I have a full heart down there instead of a half one. Nice. Oh, that's right. I think Yeah, another totem. Gee, I wonder if I'm going to get the identical thing that's in my hand. Wow. What? No way. It's the exact same thing in my hand. Oh, wait, is it? 4% Wanderer, 3% Wandar Affinity, Poison Immunity, but this one gives me plus 19 to mana. Okay, so it's basically just something for me to hold to make me a little bit stronger. I doubt it actually saves me if I were to die. Also, can anyone tell me, why do you get so much scaffolding from the vaults? I part really don't get it. Now, can I at least get anything cool from the Black Mar- Okay, yep, uh, I guess nothing from the Black Market. Is there a way to increase the level? It's like right now, right now it's just a level zero vault boot, but like, is there a way to make it like level one? 100 or something towards actually amazing and then i think it's pretty obvious there is no way i'm just gonna go and do some more like boring stuff after doing that vault run like a no 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 definitely need to have something fun so please give me something amazing oh wait we need to spend another skill point which i think i can spend in here and honestly i think we should just do strength there's an impact blight there's an impact hitting a chilled mom has a chance of causing a frost nova why would i want to do something that can harm me oh increase my movement speed that might be goaded oh sk uh, stone skin okay wait here so we'll just max out strength so i can do a lot of damage and after that we'll just go for stone skin so that then i can become more tanky and then after that i think we go for speed so i think that would be the best way to make me just a lot stronger and stuff in there yeah yeah i like that okay so we'll definitely do that one so hopefully i can hit a whole lot harder and then there you go and we go sleep please for the love of god give me a more kind vault please i want to loot i'm gonna cry wait gather elixir from loot ores and mot wait huh entered a beginner's grace vault huh how is any of this beginner oh wait i should probably collect this i can actually make like some farms out of these and uh, i don't actually wait no wait am i remembering a different mod pack now or am i remembering this one i don't i don't know if i need these or not but you know what i'm i'm such a silly little goose that i just want to collect them. Okay. So what is elixir? You know, I'm like, I, I, I don't exactly know what that is. So I'm not a mage. And okay. Like, I, I don't, I don't know what that entails. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Me hitting it activates it since when? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, hey, look, that opens. Uh, leave me alone. Since when does that open it? 
Oh, okay. I might not open it. When does that activate it? Like that, that was, that was stupid. That felt a little criminal. Well, it's a little criminal and honestly a little bit targeted. And if I'm being honest, I will be writing about this in my diary tonight and talking to my therapist about this. Okay. So this place is super duper interesting. Get out of the house. Actually do not be in there. There are so many dudes in a room together. My ward, they're having fun. I think it's safe to say that I have now been, uh, leveled up and I'm now into different areas. Oh, got there. looks. Okay. So it's just like XP because I saw some in there, but I wasn't able to collect it because there's so much snot everywhere. Gotcha. Okay. So this is, this is another kill dungeon one. How do I get up to you guys? I hear so many dudes, but I don't see them. Run. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this is really interesting. How... I don't know how to pick that up. I don't know if it's just like the special effects and it like automatically gets collected for me. Dude, I have so many questions. Oh my God. That is a lot of dudes in there. My word. Dude, don't worry guys. I'm an ally. Don't worry. Yep, I am. I'm happy of you guys in there. Proud of you guys. Actually, you know, just activate that. There you go. Have fun with that. I don't care about the loot anymore. I'm, I'm becoming jaded to it because the game doesn't like me to collect it. That is so unbearably loud that I, I'm not even able to hear myself talk in real life. Like that, that was actually so loud that I, I'm going deaf and everyone breaking these doors is even louder. Oh my God. I just, my, my poor ears, my poor baby ears right now. They're, they're just bleeding. Oh my God. Why there's so many of you? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I, I have a girlfriend. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What is this dungeon? There's other rooms as well. Like, I, I, I feel like I'm going to collect all of the elixir from this room alone. I just wanted to loot. Oh, you got to be joking. Okay. Where are you guys spawning from? Dude, I haven't even left the first room yet and we are halfway done. What is this vault? Like, this feels so stupid. I'm not, I'm not swinging until you get away from those. I'm not, not swinging. Oh my God, wait, that's right. I'm immune to poison now. I don't need to care about that stupid slime. Okay, is it legal for me to walk in here now? Oh my God, how many spiders is in the corner? Oh my God, that poor mother. How many did she give birth to? Okay, oh my God. I mean, there's a downstairs is the safe i'm trying so hard to not step on these pressure plates you know what here j just just for this i why why did these not get activated there we go okay actually here you can stay next to that house why not see you later chief oh my god absolutely intense the only way i can explain this dungeon like that that was incredible and not in a good way oh my god there's still more enemies down there Okay, even though it's probably not important to you because I mean like the train is really dead giveaway but here we'll leave torches back there so we can remember to go that way and then you know there we go with this okay I think I'm ready for the bat shit insane next area okay I'm expecting 500 quadrillion enemies to drop from the sky 13 bosses let, let, let's go also what are you 14 low ah eh, sure like I, I don't know if those things are worth it but just in case if they are you know maybe future me is going to be really grateful that I did go to all of those totem thingies and then just gave up whatever they're asking for okay where are you guys i, I hear you but i don't see you i really need to go down I really don't want to go down actually here we'll leave an easy getaway oh boy okay oh ah, why are there creepers why are there creepers why are there creepers? get off the waterfall oh my god i might be dead i might be dead i might be dead so why are they able to swim up at mach 47 speed but i go up at the speed of a toddler and then there's nuclear creepers why do you all go up the waterfall so fast get out of here dude i i i went from like reasonable you know pretty easy vault straight up to just living hell like there there was no no gradual incline it, it was just immediate just everyone just kicking me giving me black eyes and i think i'm missing a kidney <laughs> i am not moving anywhere i do not care. i got 16 minutes most likely i will have all the enemies that i need in here oh dear god they're coming no no batman i'm sorry i know i didn't mean to jaywalk please no leave me alone no i'm sorry i i didn't mean to park my car there it, it was only for a minute please no don't break my ankles uh, you need to die i, I don't want to leave you alive by the way i still stand behind my decision of focusing on strength I feel like that was most definitely the correct decision is if I had to deal more than two hits to all of these enemies, I would probably be dead. Ah, just wait, just wait, please. No, I just had one more chest. Please, 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 please. Oh, oh. oh my God. Okay, so there's fake chest. Got it. I'm just, oh uh, wait. So I wonder when that activates, like, you know, it's a it's a fraud. Does that just spawn in more enemies for me? Like, is that what happens? Okay, I would like to be able to see at least. 
I'm shocked there's no night vision skill. Something to see in the dark that'd be greatly appreciated. Yeah, you can get out of here. Oh my Jesus Christ, no. Two regeneration? Yes, please. Oh my God, I love you. So many smooches for that little lovely crystal right there. Why does this game hate me so much? Why? What did I do to it? Aha, but you see, this is nice. You can't come in here. Aha, I'm smarter than you. I'm so incredibly smart. I'm just a genius because I, you know, if I block the door, you can't come in. Wait, consume a lodestone? I beg your pardon. Pardon what? What do you mean consume a lodestone? I didn't bring any netherite ingots with me, huh? Okay, wait, did I receive one and then I put it away in that shulker box? Is that what happened? Oh, wait, does it want me to craft one? Hello, you guys wouldn't happen to have a lodestone, would you? Okay, why are there so many of you? Oh, okay, come on, come on, let's go. Okay, so what lodestone? There's... Do I seriously need to go and make a lodestone? Like, you're joking, right? You're joking. Oh my god, I think I actually need to go and make a lodestone. How? Like, there's no way. That's literally impossible. There's no way I'm getting all of the materials to make one. I still need to find more netherite scrap, which, you know, it's pretty common in here, but then I need to make a compass, and then I'm pretty sure I need stone. Like, I, I'm, I'm pretty positive that is part of the recipe. Unless maybe I'm supposed to get lucky and find a lodestone? Wait, okay, I'm not going crazy, right? There's there's only one lodestone. Yeah, this. I, I'm dead. I'm I'm so dead. Okay, wait. So I don't need a compass, but I can't make those. That's not possible. Like I'm I'm I don't believe there's any stone in here. So am I just dead? I feel like I'm getting pretty unfair vaults. Like there's no way this is normal, right? Uh, I feel like I'm getting targeted. Yeah, there's no stone. How do how would I even make it? I don't even have any cobble. Uh, not cobble. I don't even have any coal, so I can't even cook it. Like I, I'm 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 honestly a bit hurt. Like, uh, this this feels so stupid and unfair. I guess my only luck is going to be maybe finding a lodestone in one of these chests, which I, I'm willing to bet anyone uh, $100,000 I, I will not find that at all. I'm not going crazy. I don't, I don't see a lodestone anywhere. So it's not like I have one on me. And what do you mean consume? I, I didn't know that lodestones were edible. Uh, let's see. What if I just go back to the portal? Maybe there's something important back there. I'm just trying to think of anything. Like, I, at this point, I'm like 50% certain that some of the vaults are just designed to kill you. Like, they're they're not meant to be beaten. And to me, that's like, personally, like that, I just find that insanely stupid. Did I already loot you? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I already looted that one. But here, let's just go check out the vault. Because if I can just leave, but I just, you know, don't get any XP or whatever, I truly don't care. Like, that, that literally means nothing to me whatsoever. I just don't want to die. Or at least if I do die to the vault, I would like it to be fair. Not uh, oh, go and make love to the ender dragon and get a dragon egg and make an omelet for a piglin, you know? Like, I don't want something stupid like that. I'd rather just be like, oh yeah, I got cornered and, you know, 15 dudes jumped me and I died. Okay, let's see if we run back into here. Okay, well, the vault is open, so we can leave and I will be doing that. Like, uh, I'm not gonna die. I'm hoping it doesn't kill me if I leave without completing the quest, but there's legit no stone anywhere. Like, I, I can't make a furnace. I can't make those chiseled stone bricks or blocks or whatever blah 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 like i i can't do anything okay so i just checked google because like i just don't care to actually look for this also wait what are these rates of apples huh fun so allegedly it actually spawns in and it's not a lodestone so i don't know why they're calling it a lodestone but it, it, it's actually like pretty different from it and doesn't look like there's anything in here i'm just assuming that that special ability can actually find the lodestone but it's a really tiny and skinny looking gray block it, it does not look like this at all so that's going to be really fun and i think i just need to go and touch it and activate it like a monolith and then i think it just exits the vault for me like i i, I think but uh, yep i now need to run around and attempt to find it i don't know if it'll just spawn randomly in any room or if i had to like go and complete the elixir challenge first and then it spawns in in some like unexplored room i have no idea so this is cool. At the very least, I got like five minutes to find it. Okay, I hear the spider and I don't see him and I really hate that. Also, how am I almost out of torches? It feels illegal. Okay, cool. There might not be one in this room. I don't know how many spawn in. Like, is it just one per world? Uh, I have so many questions. I wish this mod pack would explain more. Oh, just go read the patch notes. No, I wanted to explain it to me in game. All oh, nice. Okay, yep, that mushroom almost killed me. Okay, well, forget it. Let's just keep running then. Once I have like 
one minute remaining. I think I'm just going to run back to the vault door and just get out of here. I still don't get why I am getting these vaults. I want the old fun ones. I don't want these anymore. I just want to loot and be cool. <laughs> Like, I don't even think it glows or anything. I'm pretty sure it's just a dark gray block. Honestly, I... Okay, we got like a minute and a half. Let's just go back to the vault. No offense to the creators. Another stupid vaults, man. <laughs> Forget it. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can at least save my life and not die from this. Alrighty, let's see what happens. Man, wait, I got a little bit of time. Was there anything important up here? No, just all of that stuff, so never mind. Okay, let's just go. Very hopefully, I can actually go through this vault. I'm hoping that it doesn't stop me because I didn't consume a stupid lodestone, please. No, oh, yeah, I'll take it. Survived? Huh. All good, so it, it, it doesn't even matter. Sweet. Oh. Well, I'll take it. You know, at least I survived it. I wish I beat it, but it would be a little nice if they would actually just explain the vaults to you instead of just, hey, here's a new vault good luck yeah i'm just saying but oh well uh okay you're pretty cheap i think i have all of those except for the fish Ooh, also need to get organized my god i have a lot of stuff okay all of that's done and then now please since this is blue i'm expecting you to be a lot rarer give me some good boots come on pretty please 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 i'm on my knees begging please please I'm it always gives me the worst. Four and six. I mean, you got a little bit more ability power, but uh, you know, everything else is really gross. And then, wow. Oh my God. Wait, you're actually a different looking idol. Wait, you actually look pretty cool. Whoa. It like, like shimmers in green. Whoa, that's trippy. Okay, I like that. It's cool. 11 mana, soul chance, mining fatigue, immunity. I didn't even know that you can get fatigued when mining, but nope, don't need any of those, but that was cool. And then we do have... 800 and almost 50 shards so let's see don't care for you i'm scared to get you scared to get you but you look really fun to me okay well i regret getting that cool vault diamonds all right what do these do what, what do vault diamonds do are they good okay a vault diamond you wow would you look at that i can go into that okay but what do you what do you go in I remember that there was like some button. Oh, wait. Oh my God, wait. Okay, so left is how you get it. Right is what it goes into. Okay. So that's a skeleton key used to remove a Kajerium upgrade. Cool. Pickup upgrade. Wow, okay. Okay, does it do anything useful? <laughs> oh, okay, well, here we go. So we got a Pickering. Cool, that looks really bad. So like I was expecting some kind of misrig, whoa, like super strong tool or something. I was expecting something cool, not some like nerd stuff. Oh my God, that is so cool. Mining gadget? No, man, I wanted it to be a shotgun. Okay, so other than double pouch or loot belt, yeah, uh, they're basically useless. I uh, really don't care for them. <laughs> And you see, this is why I went through, made all the farms, even though I already had all these pumpkins, probably from exploring, but, uh, boop, there you go. So I think I need to actually go fishing. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't have any of those. Uh, no. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do, okay, wait, 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 I already have some. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Can I go and enchant these with like the new cool enchanting? Oh my God, I can. Okay, sick. Now it's probably not the smartest to do this because I'm going to assume that now I'm just going to be getting a lot of treasure instead of cod but uh i'm down to see what happens you see when i went and i signed up to be a vault hunter i just really wanted to make this platform and just go fishing they don't talk about this but this is actually one of the requirements and oh my god it actually just gave me a cod slip and apparently that was my first time ever fish oh my god and a second cod i'm just too good you can literally just call me activision at this point i'm just cranking these out and then funny enough i guess it actually isn't bad to fully max out a fishing rod i was expecting to get like emeralds name tags and chanting books but no we're just getting straight up fish now do i need seven or do i i think i needed seven not six Okay, let's see. Okay, sweet. We only need it. Hello? Oh. <laughs> I was so confused. I thought it was being greedy, but no. Okay, there we go. With that, put you back on. That wasn't bad, you know? That was pretty enjoyable for fishing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually shocked that I was able to finish that in, in you know, one day with you. And also, I feel... Okay, you. Why, why are you not... Oh. Oh. You are done. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, well, uh, I was, you know, I was gonna say we should get back into the quest. I I don't know why, just every single mod pack, I always forget about the quest in them. Okay, so build yourself a vault portal. <laughs> Way ahead of you, chief. Way ahead of you. Wait, why would that be a quest now? When I literally have quests to like go into the vault and make stuff for, oh, no, no, I guess I was supposed to do all that before vault hunting. Okay, so build yourself a vault portal with any assortment of vault stone blocks in a similar fashion to the nether portal. Once the portal's built, blah, blah, blah. There's a time limit, I know. If you die, you'll return. Yep. 
If you manage to complete the vault, you'll be granted a crate. That can be, yep. Oh, okay, wait. So I literally just need to go into a vault for this quest. Okay, well, that's simple. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. No! <laughs> no, I thought I was gonna cheat it. Okay, wait, wait, before we go do anything else. Okay, yes, complete new bounties and rewards. Okay, I'm not reading you right now. I don't have any time for that one, but okay. At least we have a little bit of loot right there. See, reasonable amazing vault right here because it's nice and easy and i don't need to put in any efforts <laughs> but okay we only need to find four of you okay if i can get more than a slideshow of fps that'd be amazing i would not complain whatsoever even though like i rarely ever complain like let's be honest like i'm i'm good hi don't touch me hi don't touch me hi please don't touch me i'm not i'm not spider-man please no no i don't want to be him please not miles morale please <laughs> Okay, I see him, big boy. Part of me. I mean, from the last two vaults, I just feel like I should be sprinting through this, but like, oh God, it's so beautiful and it looks like there's loot everywhere. Oh wait, I wonder if I kind of screwed myself over. I wonder if I got this vault, which is definitely a like actual beginner one that's super easy because of that one quest. So I wonder if I kind of just reset my, like my vault difficulty thing. I, I don't know. I'm kind of just like rambling here, but I'm just, like wondering about that now. It's actually so nice not being affected by any poison. I, I can't lie. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I feel like I should collect you guys. You feel like you, you kind of look like you'd be really fun to build with. Okay, there's way too many chests right here. There's no way that this isn't a trap. Open your door. How do I get out of here? Open your door. Where am I? Who am I? Is it in here? Okay, I'm going to assume that that's actually just two of those little, like, uh, shrine thingies that just make me really sad. Wow, would you look at that? It's one of those shrine thingies that makes me really sad. Okay, so let's kill you guys right near it. I think that's what we need to do, just like that can cause zombies. You have no effect on me. And thank you so much. And then, wow, very luckily we actually did get a monolith. So I've read through your comments. Thank you very much for a lot of tips. So apparently when we're in here, one of the things that we should do is whenever we see any of the vault uh, rocks and ores and stuff. Apparently we should actually collect all of those and mine that because allegedly, you know, oh, it's actually good. Vault stuff is actually really nice. You know, it's not bad. Like I said in like a few days ago, you know. Can I hit? Can I, can I hit? There we go. Can I, can I hit? There we go. I feel like I'm taking this vault on a little bit too lightly. I What, what if it's a trick one, you know? What if I go through seven rooms again and I just, you know, never find any of the shrines here? Oh my Jesus Christ. I, oh my God. Hi. Oh, Oh my god it's raining man oh yes oh my gosh yes we're actually in an amazing dungeon oh yes yeah sure why not wow there is actually a monolith in here that's actually crazy i'm being spoiled now is every single vault like uh the possibility to get them is it just random or was it because like i i did it at like a specific time of day like i'm oh, whoa because i'm curious how i got that one kill vault where i just had to run around and like fill up all the elixir and then i had to go and attempt to find the the lodestone like but did i do something differently to get that or is it entirely random and then the higher level i get the higher chances i have of getting better vaults because reading through a lot of your comments, a lot of you are saying that I should just focus on running vaults because the more I do, the more I level up and then the more I unlock. Like as in like the possibility of stuff as well. Like we'll start to see a lot higher grade of items and quantity of them and enemies. So I wonder if that's how I was getting those vaults. Cause like now I'm level 11. I think I started when uh, level nine or eight it was one of those. Let's see, is it in here? Uh, it might. It might be down there. Oh my god, it's actually down there. Hit! Hit! Why am I not registering? There we go. Don't worry, see, I I'm listening to you guys now. Don't worry. Don't worry. You see, I, I found that little thingy in there, and then I, I started collecting everything. See, I I'm good. I'm, I'm a professional at this. Oh my god, I thought that was a creeper. Oh, dude, I thought that was a baby creeper. Uh, uh, that would have been a little entertaining, I think. Actually, maybe we do want to run a lot of vaults, because as I level up, that's how I unlock more mods, and one of you told me there's actually a storage mod, which I very desperately want to. As much as I love having 500 chests, I really don't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, stinky. Is there no monolith in here no that's a dungeon door maybe in the maybe in maybe in the next video that's when i'm gonna start taking those on i feel like i should max out my strength 
and maybe my tankiness. If I can somehow make myself even more resilient to damage, then we'll actually start taking those on because I, I'm going to take a wild guess here and say that that's where all of the very good loot is or the loot that I actually want. Because right now I feel like I'm picking up pennies and I'm looking for dollars. Hi. Oh my God, there's so much men here. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh no, wait. Oh, this is the last room. Wait, was there anything in here? Okay, well, that's not good. Okay, so we need to head back. Oh, brother. Okay, here, we'll just get rid of you. And then, uh, let's try it this way. Oh, all right. <laughs> Couldn't even say anything. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, I was gonna say please be in here, but amazing that it is. Okay, well, we have we have eight minutes to go around and loot. So let's see, which way did it come in? From there, honestly, we might as well just continue straight. I mean, hey, we got a lot of time. After seeing the past two dungeons, I don't know when the next vault is gonna be to where I can actually go and get these really nice and easy loot ones that don't hate me and want me to suffer and be in pain. Okay, but this is insane down here. Is it really just two little areas this is like no boss fight are there not any vaults that have a boss fight like am i just hyping them up for no reason also you guys can spawn in i don't mind there we go yes yes release the poison release the poison on them make them suffer ow no 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 oh my god stop jumping okay if i keep on getting summons for vault diamonds they actually have to be valuable like there's no way that the game would just indicate that hey you just got a rare item and then it not actually be good i don't see that being the case so maybe there's something that i should actually focus on making oh actually wait no never mind i bet you the quest line like the quest book will actually tell me oh huh wait so it is possible for them to have to wait no never mind i'm a silly little goose Give me poison, give me poison, give me poison. Yes, yes, make them all hurt. Okay, wait, never mind, never mind. Not, it's not working on them too much. Ooh, I don't know what I just got. Ooh. Okay, wait, we actually need to be a little bit faster because I just want to do this one area and then we need to start sprinting back to the vault. I think we have kind of a sprint to put on, but I don't think it's that far. Maybe. I honestly don't know. I'm really hoping that I won't need to put down my shulkers and put all this stuff away. We actually might not make this one, if I'm being honest. I am speed. ka -chow. I don't know. Davis told me to say it. Wait, I think this was the very first room. Okay, wait. The vault should be right through here. Please. Yes. Okay, sweet. You. Okay, please give me something good. Complete. Oh, oh wait. No, no. We did level up. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Sounded like... Oh, yeah. We could do a lot of gambling. Okay, we're gonna have some fun. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, man. I thought I just got a pouch. Oh, man. Dude, I was gonna be so excited. Let's sure, we'll just open up you. Oh, pink cupcake relic frag that a pink cupcake is a relic craft a relic pedestal to assemble this fragment into a relic okay what am i gonna turn into barbie all right well uh you guys already know what's gonna be happening next so yeah basically see you guys tomorrow time to go and store all this stuff Whee! well that took forever and looking around what <laughs> Did you guys look at that? Wow, there's just relic booster packs and I have 17 of those and then I have 10 mystery boxes. They're like, what? Oh my God, dude, when did that get in my chest? I don't know, because I kind of completely forgot that these were a thing, but wow, we, we got to do a lot of gambling. Okay, am I doing this wrong? No, I think that they're just that unbelievably hard to get. Okay, cool. Uh, warrior's armor. Wow. Okay. Well, you might actually turn into something really cool. And then awesome. I get more cupcakes. Love those because I know what they do. I don't really don't know what they do. Oh, hi. Hello. Okay. You're actually nice if I needed those. Now into the big things. Wait, you are leggings and it says level 11. So please, 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 please something good, please. Please, or Davis is fired. Oh, oh, sorry, Davis. <sighs> It's fun, I think, maybe. I want to give me some good, some good, some, 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 some good, 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 some good. Oh my god, it's actually something other than like a garbage one. Okay. But uh chilling cloud one hit. Eh. 615. Eh. Eh? Kind of cool how it looks like a coconut, though. Yeah, straight up, this is just a coconut. Man, garbage. Okay, yeah. Uh, don't really care for any of these. I don't know if I should even hold on to this stuff. Like, I have a lot of just vault items that I don't use and 
to be frank, like I'll never use. But um, are they worth it at all? Also, a wand. What is? What do you do? Like, I don't know how to use you. I'm not in my Harry Potter arc, so I don't know how that works. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Wait, bounty pearl. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, I don't know if I should keep these or just throw them away. But I'm just gonna keep holding on to them. You guys can tell me if I should toss them or not. But now for you, which absolutely get me to that strength. I think this is the final level. Yeah, yeah, yeah level four four now. Okay, we should be doing like big boy damage now. Now, like big big boy and then for the quest so completing bounties is a great way to secure yourself some extra loot and give yourself a solid goal to work towards you will first need to craft yourself a bounty table and then interact with it by right clicking here you can select a bounty by clicking on one of the available bounties and clicking activate once you complete a bounty you you can go back to the table and collect your rewards okay sick because so i remember you guys talking about bounties and stuff I, I think but i need to make a bounty table these don't be expensive Okay, so Lost Bounty, Bounty Pro, Bounty Table. You might... Okay, wait, I think this is actually cheap. Vault Essence. I think I have a lot of those. Hey, look at that. I have 64 right there. <laughs> And then the next one is very interesting. I can even remember the last time that I actually made a loom. Okay, what? There you are. This will be a journey for all of us. Actually, wait, were you like this? Okay, yeah, you were like that. Oopsies. And then we slap you there. Go bop, boom, bing. And now we finally have a bounty table. Let's see. I feel like it's only appropriate to put you there. Okay, but that actually looks really cool. I like that. Oh God. Okay. Uh, select a bounty. Okay, cool. There's a lot. So completion, item discovery, item discovery, maybe completion. Oh, okay. I can at least read them. So I just need to complete any vaults and then that's what I get. So diamonds are good because why are you giving me three? And then I don't see the difference between those, but nice. Find 22 vault apples in the vault. Can I do all three of these, or is it like once I complete one, the other two get reset? Whoa. My nine vault essence in the vault. I feel like that's like crazy easy. They get three vault diamonds. But I mean, this one has gambling in there, so I think I'm more down for that. Legendary. Find legendary bounties and treasure rooms. Ooh. Okay, but sure, yeah, we'll just do this one. We'll, we'll take it on the easiest one. We just need to go in, complete any vault. And, oh God. Wait, have I been to the nether? Ah. Oh. Okay, well, first off, do I have any uncooked pork chops? That would be a no, because I'm a good boy that just goes and cooks them whenever I get them. Okay, so do I have enough sheep? I got six in there. Actually, let's just go through and start breeding all of you guys again. Okay, now I'm so sorry, pigs. Just gonna do it until I get to 11. Okay, that could have given me one more. Okay, there we go. We got 12. Sorry, love you. Okay, so we got all of those. It's just the nether rack. Oh, man. Do we really need to go into the nether now? Oh, poopy. Okay, wait. Where do I keep all of my obsidian? Perfect. Now, let me see. Where would I want to place down another portal? Because I kind of... Like, I know I could just go right there, place down another portal. Boom, we go. Why, why does that almost say LOL? Why, why are my crops almost laughing at me? I don't wants to put it up here. I don't know why, but I think that'd be like kind of a good spot. Ooh, maybe like right here. Oh no, wait, I built this with no, wait, with only one center. Ah, oh God. We would actually have to make like a big portal if we wanted to actually look nice up here. Ah, let's go do it. Why not? I'm down. Yeah, it's gonna look really funky, but hey, I'll, at least it'll be symmetrical and look pretty up there. That's all that we care about. However, as much as I would love to have just zombified piglins just running around everywhere, where are my fences? I, I don't want them having access to my base. Unless I were to put like a uh, iron golem over there and just have them on guard duty. Boom, there we go. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do it a cool way. Here, we'll just have some carpet right there and only we know how to get in and out. And boop. I really hope like... Actually, wait, wait, we, we probably need some blocks to be safe in case we have a bad spawn. Uh, sure, I'll take you. Please don't tell me that I'm going to be walking into a nightmare. Like, I'm really, really hoping that the nether is just going to be normal. That's all I'm asking for. Be friendly. Okay. Not the worst. You know, th this could be a lot worse. Now, I know I could just collect this and immediately leave, but, like, is there anything cool around here? Oh, oh wait, do I have any silk touch? I do my shovel. Oh, and my axe, but hello, beautiful. What? What? Oh my, what? Okay. Yep, that was cool. What is that? Oh, wait, I can see my quest like that? Oh, that's cool if you press tab. Okay. There we go. Now you're being normal. There we go. That's what I wanted. Yes, come to me, my precious. This is way too enjoyable actually running around and collecting all of this. Uh, whoa. 
All this glowstone. Wait, wait, wait. What are you? Oh, you're cool. I know that mod. Ooh, I want some of that. I'm pretty sure it's called like emerald glass or something. This stuff is so cool. I want it. Okay, well, I think I collected a decent amount of everything that I would want. Like okay, now the entire reason why we even came into the nether. <laughs> Here, let's at least just collect it around our portal. Uh, I'd like for things to be a little bit more spacious around here. Much nicer. <laughs> a maxed out netherite pickaxe with vein miner in the nether. Oh my god, just imagine if we actually had to go mining for netherite. Just how fast we would actually be able to find an entire stack of it. And then for you, there's all of that make that beautiful thank you and boop and actually wait what's the next one gonna look like before i even put anything away i'm just curious if i have any of the stuff and the answer is no but luckily i have all of those okay perfect we'll leave that one just like that and then i uh, think i'm all situated like i don't think i'm missing anything at all we might as well go into another one just to double check you wanted me to complete one right yes okay perfect so gather elixir from loot ores and mobs cool this is gonna be the one that i don't complete <laughs> Wait, that's actually so adorable. Why are there eggs everywhere? This is stupid. I know. I know I shouldn't, but uh, I kind of want all the eggs. I'm not going to lie. This is totally worth it, in case you're wondering. Now, hmm. Okay, if I had a... Oh, God. Where would treasure be buried in here? Okay, do I actually need to dig up all of this is, is this being for real i seriously can't tell wait no there actually is something down there i'm not going down there though in case it's you know a little bit of a boom boom you get what i'm saying i'm not going down there do i need to go down there i don't want to go down there i think we just go into the next room i just need to kill enemies i don't need to go any treasure hunting i'm not monkey d luffy okay we need to stop collecting the eggs there's way too many if we if I start decorating with eggs and I'm like, dang, I really need some more, then the next time that I get this vault, we'll just go crazy. Where are the enemies? Like, am I am I in a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse episode? Hello? Any any enemies? Oh my god, what are you? What am I going against gummy bears? I genuinely like the this is this is actually gummy bears this is incredible i love this mod i i completely understand why you guys love vault hunters and why you want me to play it even more this is incredible oh and then if you're worried about me you know possibly not making it through this entire vault and you know, like on time because i'm just going really slow and i'm looting things don't worry i have no intention on actually beating this vault because i don't know how to find the load zone. <laughs> but don't worry i i will be you know trying to go fast and looking around for a dear god that is a baby gummy bear wait so that's a baby that's a teenager that's a weirdo and that's an adult got it very interesting i feel like they purposely put all of these like vault stones here just to slow me down because the only reason why i'm collecting these is because you guys told me to oh my god wait we're actually already like halfway done what <laughs> okay maybe i should try you know having 20 minutes to find a lodestone might not be that difficult i love this vault like i love the look of it and everything like can i have more vaults like this like this one at least like hey it makes me want to like be happy the other ones are just depressing oh my god that's that's a killer bunny. I think that actually did a lot of damage to me. Oh my god, what was that one movie that has a killer rabbit in it? Oh my gosh, it's on like the tip of my tongue. Not like a pause, not like that, but like, oh my god, why does it sound so? Oh my god, like it... oh! oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, my Jesus Christ. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! The hell are these? What is it? Am I in a fever dream? I didn't know that there was custom mods, uh, yeah, mobs in this. What are those? They're so awesome. Dude, I, wow. I usually only see mobs like that in, uh, like in Bedrock. That's actually so impressive that they have that in uh, Java. What was it? Like, what were they? That was sick. Okay, nice. No killer rabbits. I love these gummy bear enemies. Like, I, I, I am insanely into it. This looks so cool. I'd actually be such a big fan if there was a... Hello? Okay, I'm not a big fan of that, but I'd be such a big fan if there was actually a biome like this. Like, just imagine this in vanilla Minecraft for no reason. Just like an Easter egg biome that has like gummy bear enemies. Like, just for whatever reason, just having this stuff. I, I think that would actually be amazing. Also, um, I'm lost. Uh, I'm not seeing my torches on any part, and this is starting to bore me. Wow, wait, this looks so cool. What is this? Wow. I 
feel like that's a trap way now. Like, I, I can't go in there yet. We need to get our bearings down, and then I'll most likely go in there because that looks really sick. Wait, I remember putting that block down. Wait, wait, wait. This is the way. Yeah, there it is. Okay, there's my torches. <laughs> I like how that one random block that I placed down right there, that's the thing that told me where we were. Okay, so I think the cool room was this way. I'm such a master navigator that it's actually insane. Okay, wait. Oh, wait, no, no. Don't put any torches there. Let's just put them here. Alrighty, let's see. What is this bad boy all about? Oh, my. I want to break all of this stuff so badly. Oh, dude, I want to collect it all. See, I just, I, I can't help myself. Am I going to regret collecting all this? Maybe. Probably going to run out of time. Might even die. But is it going to be worth it? Absolutely. Maybe. I might not even use this when building, but hey, at least I'm giving myself the option to. Okay, but like, where are the enemies? <laughs> oh, you -hoo. I know. I know we're still doing good on time, but uh, I don't like to cut things close. Oh my God, there's lollipops. Oh my God, dude, you're kidding me. Like, come on, you, you can't put lollipops in here and then just not expect me to actually collect these. How do you break this? <sighs> okay, let's go with pickaxe. Well, oh, didn't even get it. Okay, I want you, give me, give me. Okay, what if I go like, putty putty please i just feel so disrespectful you know like you put these super cool items in here you just show them to me and then you're like tee hee hoo hoo not for you and i just can't even pick them up like that's it's, it's kind of messed up if i'm being honest oh uh, dude i totally would have put those around the base and i want to be surrounded by lollipops not like wait why can that why does that sound weird Alrighty, Chief, uh, where are the enemies? <laughs> I'm running through rooms and I'm not finding anything. I'm starting to understand why the mobs, when I find them, they give me so much uh, progress, you know? But like, where where are they? Hello, hi, goodbye, goodbye to you. Oh my God, wow, wait, you guys really do fill up a lot. My little progress bar, that's actually really nice. Okay, ooh, also I do need you. Please, yes, 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 more, yes. Come on, we're so close. I think I need like one more enemy, please. Yes, no! Okay, I need like one more. Ah, I need like one more. Wait, consume a lodestone? Oh, wait, looting also gives me elixir? Interesting. Wouldn't well, expect that. Okay, consume a lodestone. Now, if I don't run back to the vault, where, where do I even find one? I feel like this would be my easiest vault to actually find a lodestone because I feel like a stone, like little or uh, like block, like I, I feel like that would actually stand out really well. Are you a lodestone? Oh my God, you are, you are a lodestone. Okay, wait, assist your allies? What? Wait, so that was a lodestone. Wait, so what do you mean assist my allies? What do you mean I have teammates? Okay, apparently that's what you meant by assist my allies. Apparently you meant uh, get out of the vaults. Gotcha, okay. Well, at least I was looting some of the chests right before leaving. Okay, so I should get like really good stuff from that, right? I'm hoping to God that these jewels are good. Oh, oh, cause I always get a whole lot of them, but I don't know if they're ever actually good, but you, please actually be good, please. I need something, man, please, please. Okay, so you got 8.5 attack. Okay, you're like very, very, very slightly better. Like insanely slightly better. That's just looting, mending, and breaking three. God, but it has looting, and I think that actually drops more uh, soul shards for me. Uh, you know what? Here, you guys tell me, is this? Just say like the rare vault sword is better than your netherite sword. Just, just say that if it's true, or you know, just say my netherite sword is better than the rare vault sword. You know, I'll, I'll let you guys tell me. I, I'm just not gonna use it because I actually can't tell. I don't know where to put this. Actually, no. Uh, actually, here I'll keep you up here. Yeah, I'd greatly appreciate the help on that one. Thank you guys. Now with everything put away, it's time to do a little bit more gambling. Oh, wait a second. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You might not be bad. Like you do an extra point and a half. Your speed's a little bit better. Like maybe I did see that one of you said like, oh, the vault axes aren't tools, they're weapons. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. I just, I've never liked using axes. I've always loved using swords just because they can attack faster. So you can just kill them faster. Wow. Yay. I got another wand. I can't wait to use it. Said no one ever. All of this stuff is just not good to even open. It's always the worst. And away you all go. Oh, Let's go. That's awkward. Oopsie poopsie. Need to make another one. This is why I desperately need to get to the mod that just lets me have unlimited storage. Like, I, I know it's in this and I desperately want it. Yeah. Uh, you, however. Okay, so claim reward. Nice. Give me. Amazing. Open these three. Cool. Okay, so we have 818. Pog. 
Okay, wait, wait, wait. So we got one hour. I think I should get this. I I think a pog, like, dude, can I get a pog in the comments right now? God, this would work so much better if I was a streamer. Yo, can I get a pog in the comments if you've been watching this far? I you know, just start spamming the comments with that. <laughs> but I feel like we should definitely go for that because that looks insanely annoying to make. I don't want to make it. Uh, What about you? Uh, 22 vault apples. Have I been finding? Oh, no, no. Those are those pink ones. Yeah, yeah. I think I find a lot of those. And I don't think... I think this is in one vault. I'd be very surprised if the bounties actually worked like that. So I think we're good. I like how every time I press this button, it also activates the uh, the globe right there. Okay, there you are with that. I think we're good on everything else. Let me look at you. You are completed. The tool station can be used to craft tools that are able to significantly enhance your experience in the vaults. It can also be used to craft jewels that can be applied to your vault tool. Acquire a tool station. Station, cheap. Okay, we can go make that right now. So you need four driftwood. Boom, boom, make this amazing. Amazing. Uh, you can go right there. Whoa. Oh. Oh, so this, these are the tools you guys are talking about. Isn't there a way to combine all of them though? Iron hammer, iron sickle, axe, you craft a jewel. Interesting. Cool. Let's we'll check that out in a little bit. I'm more preoccupied with the, uh, the vault stuff right now, but you sure complete vault tools. I'll do that after. I don't want to spend too much time in here just reading and going through all of the quest logs. Like, I just want to get through here and quickly get some more uh, soul shards. Okay, please give me an easy one. Please, please. I need, I need something where I can loot. I need to get those apples. <sighs> Well, I was going to say, thank God it's another looting one, but never mind. It just smacked me in the face with its nuts with seven monoliths. So uh, this is going to be another awful one. Oh my God, this place looks so sick. I'm not going to lie, Chief. Uh, with our current situation, I don't think I have it in me to go through and collect all these coins. Okay, never mind. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, we, we, we need to start being faster. Uh, I'm starting to get a little worried about this. We've already been in like four minutes, I think. We haven't even found one monolith monolith this is making me a little pretty uneasy come on monolith come on monolith yes this one might be a little bit kinder to us guys why not just water bucket if i'm being honest i don't really care about taking damage in this mod pack like they make healing insanely easy yeah let's just keep on going and then i think we're just gonna have to do our old strat to where once we find all monoliths then we go looting for things because yeah this would have been the perfect one to go through and start looting up all of those uh, vault apples if i didn't have to go find uh, 783 monoliths in one run or if they would at least to extend my time you know like they don't give you that much like 25 minutes is not that long yes oh my god it was actually a monolith okay there we go perfect monolith 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 yes wait why does it say i only have two no 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 i found three did i not click on the previous one i know for a fact i found three you why are you not activated there you go wait can you put it out don't do that no 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 there we go okay i'm actually so happy that i realized that right in this room uh, if i continued onward and i just found eight instead of seven that would have been wild uh, at least now we're starting to make really good progress i just i'm a loot goblin i have issues i just i, I like to pick up everything i see okay apparently that's the only one here okay if you say so oh thank god God. Oh, dude, it's so nice just going over there and looking, and then it's actually a monolith instead of one of those stupid shrines. Like, oh my god, it, godsend. Please be in here, please. Yes! God, I love it when they're right there in the open right in front of me. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, let's just continue. No point in looking around there. I don't believe two monoliths can be in one room. If they can, that sucks for me. So is there one in here? <gasps> okay, there might be. Yes! Oh my god, I love this place. Oh, not this place. Ew, no. No, I don't love this place, but god, I love that ability. Okay, me Immediately leave this one. Oh my god, dude. It might take me like five minutes to run back to the beginning of this place. We are going unbelievably far. This is huge. Oh my god. It's like I'm looking at my biceps. This place is huge. Oh, yes. Yes. The last one. Can I make it? Okay. Uh, someone make it. Yes. Hi. Please don't touch me. I am really shocked that I was able to one shot every single one of you. That felt really nice. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to. Ooh, nice. We'll just loot up the chest right here. Yeah, there's no way they would expect you to find 22 vault apples in one run, right? It's like, oh, that just seems a little bit too insane. How many do I have? Oh, okay, good, good. I have over a thousand. Okay, so we can get that, that one 
item that I completely forgot why I was going for. Oh yeah, the Pog. Chat spam Pog? So we do have a decent amount of time left in here. However, I like to play it safe. And I think I only looted up the very first room. So we should have a ton to go through if I can make it back to the vault. So let's just go back to the safe area. And then I'll just start looting up the uh, uh, the immediate areas like right in front of the vault instead of, you know, me being 57 miles from it. Okay, perfect. So there's the portal. We got a lot of time. I, I want to say like I did a pretty decent job in this first area. So I don't think it's like really worth our time to look around at like every single chest just to make sure that I did. So instead, let's actually just run over here into this room because I don't believe that I've actually looted anything in here. <laughs> no, no, please. I love fighting the, the, the little crabs, little hermit crabs. You know, they're just so tanky and uh, so much fun. Hello. <laughs> Back, back, demons. Uh, give me your loot, yes, give me. Gee, I wonder if in one of these vaults if I'm gonna be able to find the one piece. Who knows, check back on episode 1273. Oh my lordy, I just realized the timer, but don't worry, I like to cut it close and make it very suspenseful, and oh my god, I don't, I, I actually do not know if I'm gonna make it in time. Oh my lordy, I got way too distracted by looting and getting organized, oh my god. I might, like, genuinely be, like, five seconds too late <laughs> okay okay whatever <laughs> whatever i beat that one that's so lame oh man i don't even know if i had any kiwis on me no yeah and i, I didn't even have any kiwis on me so i couldn't have even eaten that to have saved my life so that's lame, but let's see. Did it count anything towards the bounty? Yes, eight of 22. So at least that stays, you know, it's not just like in one vault. Oh, that's cool. I lost every single one of my levels, but nothing else got damaged. Okay, nice. Oh, it's so lame. I can't believe you didn't tell me, Davis. Like, why didn't you notify me that I was actually running behind on that? Like, I, I, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be smart and just camp towards the the vault and then i'm just gonna loot around there tee hee i'm so smart and then that happens God. guys that was entirely your fault no nope, don't care i'm blaming on the game i'm going crazy because i'm having like conversations in my own head about like what i think you guys are saying to me <laughs> of course not thank you but not everything is bad because you know we get to have five diamonds and some held duck boots what whoa you look kind of cool. Uh, not as much armor as me. There's attack damage, healing efficiency, soul bound. Eh. So, uh, rarity Omega. I don't know, like, how good Omega is. I've never heard of that in any game. But, uh, yeah, I feel like my vault boots are just way better than, like, anything that I'm going to be getting for any time soon. Also, I didn't even realize this. Yeah, I've been putting, like, I don't know if this is stuff that I've been keeping that I like. But, like, I, I just noticed that I have that random chest with all those vault items. But I'm just going to keep storing everything like that into here here so yeah but now for the next one thank you for being insanely easy okay there we go with all of that you should be done boop okay and boom there you go with that one however i feel like being kind to future me so let's see what do you need uh pretty simple pretty simple and then i'm so sorry my chickens like, i really need to focus on actually breeding all of you because it is starting to require a whole lot of your meats pause okay but we should be able to get 13 out of you yeah at least i'm hoping how many do we got seven okay we're still good with all that not too shabby future me will thank me for that one let me go do this oh also wait, wait wait before we even go back into the vault you vault tools are a successor to vanilla tools it can be modified with jewel oh that's what the jewels are for no affinities and traits of the tools okay but like how many can i put on there affinities allow you to break chests and coins at a significantly faster speed oh oh wait really wait you can put a shoveling jewel on a pick to create a maddock which i think that's like an axe pickaxe and a shovel as quick as a shovel or i think it's just a pick and a shovel but okay and rarity item quantity trap is my chance mining speed all of you you, yeah 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 craft a chromatic iron pick how expensive is that like is it gonna be simple nine chromatic iron ingots two driftwood eight vault bronze okay wait is that what the money is for yeah vault bronze wait, i got eight of those wait what was it, it was like two driftwood or was it four nine ingots Boop. and let me go to you what i just click that oh 
nine mining speed. Can't even tell for that one, but okay. Wait, that durability. Oh my god, you are twice as strong as netherite. Okay, I see why you guys really love it. Repairs looks like I can only do it once. Okay, well, we'll, we'll figure all of that out in the morning, but that looks really cool. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I just changed my shulker boxes to light blue because I think that's the best color in Minecraft. Okay, I think I have everything. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Oh God, please tell me it's still there. And I still get the pog. It's gone. Ah, Davis. Okay, you know what? No, we're just going to save it now. Now that I know that we can get pogs from... The, the black market, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, no, we should definitely just save up for that one. Oh my God, dude, I can't. I hope I can get that again because all I remember, it's just very tedious to make them. Like, I'm pretty sure I have all of the materials to make them, but but yeah, I just don't want to. Oh my God, dude, I'm blushing already, dude. You got me kicking my feet. I'm laying on my tummy on my bed right now, blushing. Uh, you guys just gave me a monolith right there. And you know what? No, no, no. Okay, we're gonna leave the first room unlooted so that then once I get all five monoliths, I can just start working my way back. Okay, now, now I'm really blushing, okay? You're making me feel like baby girl right now. Then we can just go all the way back to the beginning, which I didn't leave towards is right there because I'm a silly little goose. And then we can just loot the first room. So then it should be impossible for me to mess up and then die in a vault that I've already beaten. Isn't that just super awesome? Let's see, am I gonna be able to get a third one in here? Oh my God, I actually might. Oh my God, I actually did. I'm like this close to just doing an uwu right now with how much this game is just spoiling me with all of these monoliths right here. Okay, can I hit you? Thank you. The only thing that I would have to say about this mod pack to really, you know, I'm, I'm not going to change it. Don't worry. But I wish that there was dynamic lighting so I could just hold a torch and run. Okay, I think we actually explored this entire room. It felt really nice. And we just need to continue this way. Ooh, oh, oh my God. Is it Easter again? What is this? Oh, and it moves. Purple gelatin. Oh, nummy. Very interesting blocks. I, I don't know if I'm ever even going to use these. I don't know why I'm collecting them, but I just, I, I like to collect things. Uh, let's see. Escalium Gem. Gee, I wonder who that's named after. Alexandrite? Okay, I got you. I got you, mod creators. I'd do the same. Okay, I truly doubt there's anything in this room. Like, I, I'm just, I'm getting a vibe that there is no monolith in here. Usually the very unique places don't have any. And so we just continue onwards. I like those unique rooms, though. Those are actually a really nice touch. Oh, whoa. Oh, this is cool. See, this is what I'm talking about. I love these unique places. There's no monolith in here, is there? Okay, well, at least I know that there's nothing. I... I am down to explore though, because this place looks really cool. I, I just want to see what they uh, what they did. Okay, so it's just like a, a cute little village. Kind of tempted to click. Oh, wait. Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. What if there's beetroots? That's just potatoes and carrots. Potatoes and carrots. Come on. Dude, if I can actually get beetroots from this place, that's going to be incredible. I don't feel like going down. <laughs> I feel like that's a trap. Don't hurt me. Wee! It's very weird how there's no enemies, though. God, do you guys need any more wheat? Maybe all the enemies died from scurvy. Like, you guys don't have any fruits or anything, like, good around here. It's just wheat. Do I dare? Oh. Do I dare? Hello? Whoa, that's cool. A green torch? Ooh, I like it. I don't believe that this is a dungeon. It's not really giving dungeon vibes. Okay, I thought you were going to spawn something in, but I guess not. But can I break this? Okay, I probably could have, but it takes way too long. Okay, never mind. So I don't think I'm supposed to break that. Whatever. I think we're just meant to try and loot everything. Oh my God, of course you just had to be a boss. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I need you guys to spawn in again. I mean, unless I like really light up the place, I don't know if that'll prevent them from spawning. Oh my God. I like how he just had to drop right in front of my face. Did I just pick up a pog? Oh my God, I have a pog. I think I actually got that from one of them. Nice. Okay, so I guess it's not a bad thing that I didn't get that one uh, pog from the, the black market at all. I kind of just saved myself like 800, uh, 800 coin or soul shards. Okay, I actually kind of want to leave because there is so many enemies. Jeez, God, I hate you so much, you little rat. God, I mean, I got a pog from this. So I really want to keep on looting everything, but at the same time, I, it's screaming at me to get out. I swear on my life, I hear them like kind of running towards me, but no, we're out. Okay, let's go, let's go. That was a cool one. I think I'm just still too inexperienced or I'm just, you know, not strong enough yet to, to go through dungeons like that, even though that one is really cool and we were getting really nice items out of it. I feel like it's better for us to just focus on beating the vaults 
and also just unlocking some new skills. You know, like I, I want to at least be tankier. I want to actually get some good weapons as well. That would be really nice. Hello. Okay, we were getting lucky with the monoliths in the beginning, but I would really, really appreciate to find one in here. Making me a little nervous. Okay, please be one up there, please. Yes. Okay. Oh my God, dude. How do I miss the simplest ones? I I'll never understand that about myself. Okay, but you're marked. Honestly, let's just keep going. I want to find that last one and then just head back to the first room and start looting that up. I think I even skipped the second room. And I see it. Hey, beautiful. Okay, you know what here? Since you spoiled me and you're right there. Yeah, let's loot this place up and then we're going to start heading back. This time, I'll make sure to keep an eye on the timer so that I don't get in trouble. I can do it. I can do it. Oh my God, barely. Oh, oh, oh man, I wasn't going to make it. Okay, let's start running back. We're running out of time. Woo! made both of those okay let's see three minutes with a by my guess i think i will have about 30 seconds to loot the first room if i want to <laughs> i i would like to think that this was a pretty decent loot run the biggest thing was getting that pog which i don't know what i can make with that but i know that i can make some stuff Okay, yeah, there's the vault right there. And yep, just like I kind of predicted, 30 seconds. Okay. Up then, I think we should just go up here. Tickle your toes. Yes. Oh my God, another vault apple. Oh my God, two more vaults apples and bounty complete. Nice. Okay, yep, let's just exit. Um, I don't even want to risk it. Uh, I'm too scared to continue onwards. Uh, except for you, I'll kill you. Yeah, I'm, I'm too scared to mess this up. <laughs> but I'm so happy I checked those two chests out. That was goaded. And we did level up. Whoop. Let's see for you you i mean i can increase you i don't i think i think this would actually be the right one because i really want to max out heal yes i mean oh god that's gonna become really expensive later on so we might have to worry about mana but now nah, let's just start focusing on healing Whoop. oh whoa oh dude wait we got some cool stuff out of that well yep don't mind me it's time to go get organized again that out of the way at least now we have a lot of these fun things to open up i'm really hoping that i actually get something good like please oh yep i always wanted nothing and then you what's an artifact whoa vault artifacts what that's just iskal's skin and apparently he's 31 feet tall it's impressive wait so what do you is it like a painting oh okay so we need to be 31 feet tall we need to dress up like Iskal, and then we need to go on top of scaffolding, on top of some slime with a crown. Gotcha. Okay, darn. That makes so much sense to me. Okay, but uh, anyways, yeah, let's just look at all this stuff. Please, something good, please. Four and three, four and six. Nope, mine's better. Okay, but we got a new vault sword. Okay, apparently we're now in Kingdom's Heart. Maybe good? I mean, two more damage, a little bit faster attack speed. Chilling Cloud and Soulbound. I don't know what Soulbound does, but you're a rare sword. Oh, wait, it's a Swax. It's a sword and an axe. Oh. And then this sword is just garbage. Gotcha. <laughs> I don't know if the Swax vault sword is good i don't know you guys tell me should i use that instead of my netherite sword i honestly don't know I, I unless i see like a drastic increase from damage i don't know what weapons are better than others <laughs> but i do know how to get another vault key yes give me thank you okay load you up just go make as many as we can there we go and we got 28 technically 29 on backup dear lord i'm just waiting until i figure out how to make the more difficult ones oh god i need rabbit oh dude i don't even think i can kill the rabbit this entire world okay well we might as well just go around and see if we could find rabbits i'm not gonna lie i don't know where to check uh, you might find this hard to believe i've never actually hunted rabbits in this game before i never really cared for them because i just don't see them as a like a useful animal so this should be good what do you even use rabbit foot for i'm curious about that item drop but i don't even know what that crafts into oh imagine if they made like uh, necklaces in Minecraft and then you just get the rabbit's foot and it gives you like plus four luck. So like you can like hit higher crits or you find better loot in chest or you have a chance for a skeleton arrow to miss you, you know? Like I think that'd be fun. Crap, should we go back home? What if I make two animal jars? Can I make a rabbit farm? I got a feeling this isn't gonna be the only time that I actually need rabbit. Ah. Okay, well, let's go back home. Let me make two animal jars and then we're gonna head back out. I feel like I should at least attempt a rabbit farm. 
And then I'm just gonna take a wild guess here and say that they eat carrots to breed. It's just, normally I wouldn't do this, but for this mod pack, I feel like we have to because I got a strong feeling I'm gonna need rabbit meat in the future. Okay, fingers crossed that this works, but we'll put bunny there, why not? And then give me that. Oh, please, oh, love of God, ow. I actually find some. I don't think there's any over there. I strongly think that they're over there in that village. Okay, now we're off. I wish I was able to pick up more than one animal in a single jar, or can I? Am I being a silly goose and always just taking like uh, two animals and two jars. I feel like I'm being a silly goose. I, I feel like I actually don't need two jars. I feel like I just need one. And then now everyone's like, oh my God, I don't know how he's messing this up, but he is. And then, you know, I'm always taking two jars out. So now I'm just looking like a fool. And then I just been so insecure that I might just turn off the, the visuals. So now you're only listening to the sound of me and like the game. <laughs> Come on, bunnies. Where are you? Can I put a horse in a jar? Like, am I remembering incorrectly? I could have sworn there was rabbits this way, or maybe they were to the left of the base, not the right. Before anyone types in that there's a biome compass, I do know that. I just don't know what biomes rabbits spawn in. Just look on Google. Shh. Be quiet, Billy. Shh. Okay, don't think there's anything over there. Screw it. Let's try this way. Okay, metric ton of sheep out here. That's kind of cool. It's just now I'm really hoping that the animal pen and the animal jars work because this is becoming a bit absurd to find some rabbits. Okay, surely around here. You know, like why wouldn't some of you just have, you know, some rabbit pets? You know, like I, I feel like you guys would have that. Have I been here before? Oh! Oh, nice. Okay, I see you guys. I see this place. Nice, I love it. <laughs> Alrighty, cool village, but let's just continue on running. Like, let's think. Okay, so there's no rabbits in any of the biomes that we just explored. I don't think that they spawn in the oak forest. Do they only spawn in deserts? I believe I've always seen them around there. Maybe deserts or tigers, maybe? I don't even know if that's like the actual name for the biome. I kind of forgot about. I swear it was called taiga. What's up? Have you seen like really short furry things that are like really soft apparently it's like the third most popular pet to have in the world like i i just need to find two of them i'm not gonna kill them i just need them for like personal reasons but have you seen any of those around here at all just like the clitoris i'm starting to think that rabbits don't exist i feel like they're just mythical beings that park rangers use to gaslight people into coming into the forest like i there's no way right like yo bugs bunny where are you Eh, what's up doc Ooh. Oh, this place looks so pretty. Ooh. Wait, you. I think that's frozen tundra. Wait, 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 wait. I am I'm I'm actually like really positive on bunnies being here. I think this is where white bunnies spawn. Come on, I'm actually so positive that bunnies spawn in here. Come on. There has to be. Ah, oh, man, we got wolves, which actually isn't a good sign because I'm pretty sure wolves kill the rabbits. I'm actually shocked. There's no rabbit. No rabbits here at all. Am I going crazy? Like, I could have sworn on Davis's life that rabbits actually spawn in the snowy tundras. Like, I'm so positive on that. There's... Why am I having such a hard time finding, like, the simplest of things? Ugh, fine. Instead of just continuously running around everywhere, like, I'm almost 2,000 blocks from home. Fine. Wait, so I was correct. It can spawn in forest, desert, savanna, and snow biomes. We just ran through an entire snow biome. Didn't even see one. Ugh. I just want bunnies. I saw the donkey. I don't know why. I thought it was like a full on monster with a flag on its back like that. Wow. Okay. That, that like really tripped me out for a second there. I thought I was playing on the horror series again. I was like, oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Dude, if I found this back at the beginning of the series, I actually probably would have made this my home. Oh my gosh. This place is so cool. Oh my God. Wait, and there's a village here? No, wait, wait, wait. Here, how about this? Let's leave a waypoint here and we'll just call it future home. This place is so cool. And then we can make a lava farm just from that. The view's awesome. Like this could be like the entire house area, giant, super awesome if the series goes on for long enough. And then down there, we can like make that for future vaults. Like once we get into the harder stuff. Uh, I, I won't loot or mine anything here. Let's just get through this place. Just go beyond here. Maybe if we're lucky. Like, why, why wouldn't there be any bunnies in this, like, super flowery meadow? I feel like this is a nice place for them. I feel like they would enjoy it. Oh, my God. I love terrain like this. Like, flat all around it, but then you just have this one random spot that's just giant. You think I can make that? I think I can make that. Not seeing anything immediate, so... Whee! Oh, 
my god, I barely made it. I had like a block of space. Please, something other than chickens. Bunnies. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come on, who wants to go in my jar? Come on, it's a nice jar. I mean, I know that bunnies like to jump off high places and then just unalive themselves all the time. So I'm kind of surprised that I'm not finding any bunny up here where like they can very easily just unalive themselves. So I feel like something's wrong. Like they're just not in their natural habitat. Don't miss. Oh, nice. I should have missed for once. How much is in here? Oh my lordy. You just keep going. Oh my gosh. You just keep going. Okay, I, I don't even trust myself with this. Don't even trust myself. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay, well, just put down the water and then we jump. Whee! We need to get out of the stony biomes. And then I'm pretty sure even the modded biomes. Uh, yeah, because they only have creepers in them. And I don't really want those. I think we need to cut across here. Go, cut through this biome. Ideally, I just want to find a desert. I feel like that's our highest chance of actually finding them. Like maybe, very maybe. And I truly doubt this. But if I camped back at that one snowy place that we found, maybe some bunnies would have spawned in. But I don't think Minecraft is cool enough to actually spawn in mobs while you're in a place. On bunnies. Don't do a stall of leche. Okay, is there rabbits in this mod pack? This is starting to feel like identical to the carrot situation. Like, do I actually just need to spawn in rabbits? I'd like to think that I've been searching around pretty decently for them like this. It was funny the first like 10 days, but you know, I would like to continue playing or maybe Google is just really stupid and they're lying to me and then bunnies don't spawn in savannas. Is this not a savanna? No, this is a savanna. Okay, wait, so where are they? Even around here, they should be spawning in. Uh, forgot the name of that forest, but like that that's another one that they can spawn in, I think. Okay, so no bunnies whatsoever in the savannah, so let's just continue on to a different biome. Google lied to me. I'm gonna lose my mind if I see any more cows and pigs. Uh, I'm gonna start going feral, I swear. Do rabbits even spawn in birch forests? I don't think they do. I don't think I've ever seen a rabbit in one yet, no. I just look on Google. I don't trust Google, no. I feel like Google's lied to me. I think I've been to about three biomes to where rabbits are supposed to spawn in and we haven't even seen one. All right. I don't know, maybe they can spawn in here. This place looks so trippy. This place looks cool. Maybe we can get lucky with something here. Why do rabbits not want to go into my jars? Like, why Why are they making this so difficult? What's wrong with my jars? <gasps> oh my God, there's pandas here. Can I put a panda in a jar? Oh my God, you can. Okay, but what if I do like... Okay, so we really need to hope that I can put multiple animals in one jar or else if I find bunnies, I can only have one of them, not two. And then we'll have to make a double trip. But uh, I got a panda. Okay, before we go, I got to find at least like one more panda now. So now I want to do that test. I want to see if I find another panda, can I put them in the same jar? I don't know why, but now I just added on to the quest line. You know, now I need another panda before we leave. And now I still need some rabbits, but like... I can't go back with one panda. That's lame. Maybe if I make a panda's natural sound, that'll then incline them to come out and then I can put another one in the jar. <coughs> Bamboo. <coughs> Okay, whatever. Uh, we have a high enough chance to find another panda before we find a rabbit, so let's just get to another area. Yo, this is all savanna. Wait, wait, wait. This is like 100% brand new chunk spawned in savanna. Please, please, for the love of God, have just two rabbits. That's it. Two rabbits. That's all I want. It could even be baby rabbits. I don't care. Okay, this is going to be a like an actual 50-50 shot because we got arid badlands and we got savanna. Please. I've been exploring for so long, please. Okay, well, over there, that actually looks a lot more savanna-like. There is a village this direction. Maybe there's rabbits around the village. Okay, so this is a hill right here. So, you know, it has like a cliff or it has like a really high point where you can jump off and unalive yourself. That's one of the attractions that rabbits have in this game. So that would mean that there has to be rabbits around here because it's so easy to end it all because their mob is just so useless in this game, except when you need them for a vault. And then I was hoping to do like a back-to-back -back vault run to end off the movie. And at this point, I don't even know if that's possible. I'm just trying to not spawn into rabbits. But I think we have to very soon. Because I've been running thousands of blocks and we aren't seeing them at all. I'm just seeing stupid sheep, cows, pigs, donkey. 
I don't know if I said chickens or not. Horses seeing everything. How is there not one bunny in this entire biome? Like, do bunnies just not spawn in savannas? Am I going crazy? Is Google gaslighting me? If I don't find it today, then I'm just gonna spawn in two rabbits and then, you know, I'll hopefully be able to breed them. I don't know if you can actually do that to rabbits because I just never needed to in my entire life. So I don't know if this will work, but I think we can all agree that it's a lot more entertaining and fun to watch me run vaults than it is to sprint around for thousands of blocks trying to find one mob that I'm, I'm at this point, I very strongly believe it's exactly like carrots. It does not spawn in. I think that there is a mod in this mod pack that prevents some of the common things from spawning in for all the world generations. So I think like I, I really need some uh, comments about this. Like I need some feedback, but I think a general rule from this point forward on any video like in Minecraft that I make, if I can't find something simple like a carrot or a rabbit in five days and like and I'm actually like searching for them like I am right now, I think it's completely justifiable for me to spawn them in. Like at that point, just so we can actually continue on with the story and the mod pack and make progress, I think it's actually needed. Like I'm all down for, you know, you know like diamonds are hard to find, you know, emeralds take a little bit to get towards, netherite's very difficult, but at least you can do them. This is, this is just a bit much. Oh my God, that is a natural spawn pink sheep. Wow. So I'll keep on running around. I'm going to keep searching around this savanna biome, but I got a strong feeling that we are not finding them. I'm even just constantly watching the minimap and running towards yellow dots. So this should be a lot easier to spot them, but like, where are they? Like it is only cows, chickens, pigs, sheep, horses. So I think for beetroots, we will have to find them in a vault. I don't think that they spawn in naturally as well. I mean, wait, this is technically a desert. Okay, I'm gonna start heading back home. I'm gonna keep an eye out for any rabbits. Maybe I don't need to cheat them in, but hopefully I won't need to spawn them in. I would love to, you know, to find some rabbits right now in this desert. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, that's a rabbit, that's a rabbit. Oh my God, that, that, that's two. Get here, get it, get it, get here. Okay, that was one. There's a little baby right here. I don't care, I'll take it, I'll take it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my God, come here, come here, come here. The animal's too small to fit in this jar. Oh, okay, if I can find one more, if not, I will chase that rabbit down until it grows. That sounds so weird, but okay, come here. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, whoops, sorry, I can't spin. Wait, 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 wait. G give me one second. Okay, this is really awkward. Are you staring at me while I'm eating? Wait, are you egging me on? Come here. Oh my God, dude, finally. Oh, and there's more over here. Oh my God, I'm finally finding some rabbits. I'm starting to wonder like, what the hell is wrong with my world? Why does it not spawn anything in? But at least now we know for certain that yes, you can pick up multiple mobs in a jar. So that's really good to know. However, my plan or I don't know, my uh, offer, if you want to say that from earlier still stands. If I can't find something very simple within five days, maybe 10, but that just feels like it's really pushing it. So I think five days and then boom, I just spawn it in just so we can continue stuff. Oh wait, wow, I have really long range with this jar. How many do I have? Eight. Oh my God, there's so many rabbits here. Oh, this is amazing. Well, if I'm ever in need of a desert, I just need to remember to look at my map and travel about 4,000 blocks from my house. But oh my God, dude, we got nine. So just fingers crossed. I, I just, I know, you know, obviously there's the internet. I can look on Google, blah, blah, blah. I just want to see from trial and error. Can I actually breed rabbits in Minecraft? I don't see why you can't. I'm pretty sure almost every mob like animal in this game, you can I kind of really want to run this way and explore this possible jungle biome. Really want another panda. So I have two. Don't look like the Gene. I can make it. Yes. I can make this. I can't make this. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes, we're finally back to our beautiful home. Okay, Panda, you can go there, which that looks pretty adorable. Yeah, no, we, I doubt I'm ever gonna need them for anything because they don't really do anything, but I'm totally gonna try and get another Panda in the next movie. And then finally, these little monsters. Now let's see, am I lucky and I can actually breed them? Oh my God, well, you actually can? Oh, that's sick. Okay, I actually didn't know that you could do that with rabbits. Well, at least now we never need to worry about rabbit meat again. So that's another one checked off the list. 
list and let's see how many do i need again before i go and slaughter their entire generation because they're annoying okay just four one okay there we go it's like hopefully you guys drop more than just one i remember we're at 10 okay oh my god dude that feels so good to actually have that done and then just another thing that we have for the future future me would be very grateful that i never need to go and travel over 10,000 blocks again for some stupid rabbits Ooh. also did i even i did not okay wait so flame reward you're done oh wait 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 so it just refreshes every now and then or oh maybe once i uh play the world again because i did uh, log out or save and quit whatever you want to call it let's see find nine vault essence in the vault find eight vault meat in the vault uh i don't know if i care for any of that vault diamond regular diamonds honestly like <sighs> Maybe we'll go with this one. Maybe this one's better. Eh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna assume that this one's better to go for, so why not? Ooh, we can gamble. Okay, I'm seeing so many different pants in here. Please, something cool. Okay, you are three and 3.5. Nope, you are almost half as good as mine. Okay. E yeah, wait, plus two armor, so five. But even then, I think mine are better than yours. Also completely forgot about this. That's right, I did make you. Okay, so when the jewels on tools, the jewel applicator makes a plan, blah, blah, blah. Let me guess, Ricardo jewel applicator. Okay, cool. Uh, but let's see, it has three parts of its inventory. The left side is where you can put your jewels, showing you the total outcome. Wait, total outcome of if, oh, outcome of if they were placed on your tool. Gotcha. Is that a correct sentence? Why does that sound so weird to me? The middle is where you place your tool and you can see the visual output of combining tool type jewels, like shoveling or axing. Blah, blah, blah. Last slide, the right side will show you the updated stats. Gotcha. Okay, but jewel applicator. Uh, pretty cheap. I got a, every single one of those. Please. Oh, God. Wait, it actually has to be driftwood planks. Gotcha. Okay, so anvil, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think I can remember all of that. Let me assume. No. This? There we go. I actually didn't know that that's what that was actually for. You have completed a quest. Wow, I feel so accomplished. Um, fine. We'll just put you there. Okay, whoa. Oh, wait. Can I put all of my jewels on there like uh, if i just bring over like all these <gasps> oh okay i like that so it's just another storage format ah. okay so maybe uh the vault tools actually aren't bad and my god do i have a lot of jewels so many i actually get too many i don't want these at least for right now future me will definitely not say that too many but sweet this actually opens up so much inventory space for me they actually almost filled up the entire table huh you can even raise the durability wait so can i just put unlimited tools uh, like jewels on a tool oh chromatic iron pack soul i'm sorry wait what okay wait that doesn't store it that's if i want to put it on so i mean i'm still just gonna store everything in here but that is really funny like imagine if i could have all of those on it that that would be insane that'd be a pickaxe an axe a shovel it smelts things collects even faster uh, around like multiple items i don't know what ornate affinity is but that that's insane but yeah, and i'm oh wait that's cool you can even see it on top okay i'm i'm leaving it all in there that's really cool i like that but you're completed Ooh, cool give me some cool ingots wait what expertise i've already completed this expertise is are gained by spending expertise points cool what are you forging gear the vault forge is used to craft gear and weapons as well as powerful trinkets once they have been unlocked crafting gear acquire a vault forge you wow i actually barely have those okay and then vault us and it's another ingot blast furnace funny enough the blast furnace is actually the one thing i don't know how to make <laughs> So I'll take you, you go like that, boom, boom, boom. You are now done. Actually, I feel like we should keep you right there. Why not? Holy. Holy moly guacamole. Oh my lord. Oh my god. A forging complete. Sweet. A lot of stuff that I don't need. Okay, so magnets suck up loot. Okay. Forge a magnet in the vault forge. But I already have one. Oh god. Uh what? What do magnets look like? Magnet. You. One netherite ingot. Fine. Ugh. God, it's so expensive. Okay, let's see. Magnet. Craft. Thanks. Gee, I wonder if I'll get a good one. Oh, shucks. I didn't. Okay. Actually, let's see. You compared to mine. Mine just has farther range, and I actually kind of like that more. But, uh, yep. Just gonna keep that one then. And then you... 
you can go there. Why not? I'll most likely forget about you. Okay, there we go with that. Boom. This quest complete. Oh, uh, what are you? Acquire an artisan station. I feel like... I feel like we've gone through quite a few of these, but I really want to do another vault run. I think we have enough time for literally just one. So I'm a lot more... You have got to be kidding me, man. Really? Seven? Well... We sure do got a lot of running to do, so never mind. We might not really be looting whatsoever in here. It might just be a run and loot. I mean, a run and loot? What? No, this is probably just a run and find a monolith run. Oh, well, hey, at least... Oh, wait. Oh, there's one up there. Nice. Okay, so it actually works on a range. Like, so if I find one and just quickly run to the next room, I might actually be able to see it. Okay, you all go bye-bye. And then I go jump and then I put down water and then I swim up while you do 360s and die. Oh, it was just that stupid thing. Or is there one down there? Uh, fine, let's just look. Yes, oh my God, I'm so happy I looked. There we go, see ya. Actually, wait, no, no, I want the kills. I want the smoke. Uh, please. Please, I just need one. I mean, I, I need six, but you get what I'm saying. You. Uh, how do I get down there? Oh, uh, do I get down there, please? Oh my god. Yes! God, you're actually a monolith. You're not something else. Well, very surprisingly, we can actually continue forward. So let's just go. Goodbye, loot. I feel like whenever I get this many monoliths, it actually spawns in, like, decent loot and just... So, like, I, I actually feel like I'm missing just a lot of good stuff. It's just, for it to actually be possible for me to get out of here, I can't loot. At least until the end. Just like all of these ores that you guys keep telling me that I should go and collect, but at this point, I'm just not going to. Okay, there's nothing over here. This is awkward. Okay, good. No one was cutting off my exit. Okay, it doesn't look like any monolith. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, there's so many of you. Oh, yep, good. There's even more. Oh, cool. Even more than that one. Oh, it's the IRS here to collect my taxes. I'm sorry. Tax evasion is just so much fun. Please stop trying to punish me. No, I don't want to pay fines. Please leave me alone. You don't deserve my money. <gasps> oh my God, there was actually one upstairs. Yes, I'm so happy I came up here. Okay, uh, next. Uh, let's just go very fast and check upstairs. And if it's not here, then we're just going to the next room. Oh, hi. What's up, beautiful? Jump down here, run across. Okay, we only need three more. We're actually making pretty decent time. I'm just trying to factor in looting, which we're just going to go with the same plan as before to where we just go back to the first room. And then in there, we're just going to loot until we have like, 30 seconds to a minute left. Please be one, please be one, please be one. Yes, I love you. Okay, we can't continue that way. Put down torches. Okay, let's start running this way. Okay, I don't think there's any monolith down here. <gasps> oh my god, there's a monolith down here. Okay, so they really can not spawn in like insanely weird places. Gotcha. Make it! Yes! Thank you. Should I... <sighs> Like, should I even check upstairs? Like, I don't think that two can spawn in a room, but that'd be kind of cool if they could. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that was a monolith up there. Okay, no. It does not look like... And into the fire. I got I'm good. Doesn't look like there's a second one in there, so let's just keep going. Okay, hello. Any monolith. Didn't even need to complete my sentence. Hey, beautiful. Oh my god, I actually made that. God, I'm amazing. Okay, whew. Okay, we beat the vault. Beat the vault. What an amazing one to end off our movie just now i'm just gonna loot and you know we got 13 minutes i'm not worried about time i'm down to make it a little risky okay i'm stupid i was trying to be cool and jump up there but never mind but let's actually just loot around here and then maybe we loot like all the obvious chests that like we can see immediately on our way back to the first room okay any chest immediately no, no, no. oh wait maybe yes that looks like a yes to me. Nice. Next room. Make it. Dang it. Oh God. You guys give me four seconds. I'm going to get back up there. Okay. Or you can just jump down right in front of me and try to kiss me. Oh, okay. Yep. I'm I'm smart. I'm just such a genius. I don't know. I thought that was an angel for a second. I mean, thanks for making this super easy. No, don't run. Third time. Can I make it up there pretty please? I'm okay. You know what? Screw it. We're going the old fashioned way. This is getting really silly. There we go. Dear God. I didn't know that it was going to be that difficult and all that works just for one stupid chest and i'm i'm gonna i'm just gonna go cry okay at least i didn't take any damage but i'm just gonna go cry i i how did i miss that what what is going on what, what is going on why am i playing like i'm davis so like, come on i got more skill than this there we go oh my god phew oh god that, that was actually so close if i did all of that just for some more i'm gonna cry please please don't tell me really oh my gosh <laughs> 
Okay, this room is just not worth it. It's not worth it to try and like go out of your way for anything, it seems. Okay, there we go. Now we have real loot. Are coins used just for upgrading stuff? Like maybe it's used for upgrading your weapons. They're gonna come in soon. Like I, I know for a fact I'm going to need a lot of these coins at some point. Okay, well, anyways, here, let's just continue running back to the beginning. Just want to be safe. I actually want to win. Hi. How did you guys never spawn in? I uh, don't care to collect all those coins. Takes way too long. Uh, not in any other chest. Goodbye. And hello. Oh, no, that's right. I left so many of you in here. Well, nice. I actually tried to, like, surprise attack me. Awesome. This is good. <laughs> oh my lord. I left so many of you down here. Okay. Yep. Let's get into a easier spot like right here. Hello. Okay. Get out. Oh, cool. There's two bosses. There we go. Okay. Did anything drop? Yes. I want that. Thank you. There we go. Okay, I would loot, but I'm getting a little worried about time because I don't know how far we are from the vault, so we need to just run. Oh my god, hi! Okay, I was in, like, La La Land. I wasn't even paying attention. That was creepy. Oh, hi! Oh, yes, another boss. Like, I, I don't know if these are bosses or not, but I just feel like calling them that because I feel like it's appropriate. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Holy, okay. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Do not touch me, do not touch me, do not touch me. Okay, I swear, dude, that that thing, like, it, it has to at that point, right? Like, that, that did so much damage. What the? Why am I doing so little damage? Is my damage based on my health? Something weird is going on here, fellas. I feel like that item from the spider, it has to give me something good like there, there's no way it gives me something bad after dealing with that that thing was hitting like a train did i lose armor no okay how did it do so much damage okay but that is the vault room we got two minutes to loot so if i'm lucky there's real loot in this room oh actually wait, before we even go anywhere just in case i need to do it fast oh you who oh you who are you good raw chromatic iron no you're not good <laughs> i mean like yes it is good but i don't need it like oh my god look at it all right here like just watch this boop oh my god i have 70 so my damage is actually based off of my health because now that i'm full health i'm doing a lot more damage and then it looks like the more consecutive my hits go the more damage i do or am i reading into it too much okay come on man i just want one chest one chest we gotta go like right now come on is this really just a fighting room or is it like a chromatic room because that's really all that i'm seeing from this okay yeah just more garbage there come on i just want one chest before we go please please oh my god there's actually nothing in this first room well that sucks <laughs> that's terrible oh well at the very least we were able to complete it and it looks like we got a lot of rare drops or at least drops where, like, I need to go and, uh, like, gamble it, you know? Like, just randomized. Okay, we received so many items from that one vault. That, that's actually incredible. So, that was a very, very good run. I'm actually really happy to have that be the last one for the movie. So, hopefully we get a good axe. Pretty please, pretty, pretty please. Um, 12 attack damage plus 2.5 attack. Okay, I, I see you, Chief. It's just that attack speed that really gets me, but maybe the the rare vaults axe, if you guys want to tell me, hey, is that one good? I mean, it looks pretty good to me. Maybe even just in time frames. Actually, that'd be so much easier than just being like, oh, this item or this item. Like just being like, yo, at this moment in the video, that one's actually really good. You should use it instead. Okay, so you are four and six, you're four and nine point five. You just give me like item quantity, knockback resistance, plus one armor. Ah, uh, you might actually be better. Healing efficiency, armor, plus two health, soul bound. Don't know what soul bound is, but cool. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me get some emeralds. I want to see, can I enchant you? Also, wait, is there anything good in here? Vault X, Vault Sword, Bitter Limit. Oh my god. Removes 10 max health, adds 30 seconds to the vault timer. Only out of one side of the vault. Okay. So I know for a fact you guys are going to be screaming at your screen. Get it, get it. It's so good. I mean, I can buy it once and then have like like almost, yeah, about like 500 left over. Uh, I, I don't know though, because uh, I don't know if I actually need that ever because like... Like, let's be honest, I truly doubt I'm ever gonna have that in my hot bar and be like, oh no, I'm not gonna make it out in time. Woo, and like quickly put it on. Like, let's be real here. Okay, it's me we're talking about. Oh yes, that actually did raise my max health. Do I look cooler now? Whoa, I look, I look pretty dorky, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> wait, did I never enchant you? Oopsies, let me go enchant you, bud. Oh my gosh, wait, there's actually like good enchantments for this thing, oops. Okay, I look a little bit cooler now. I don't look as dorky. Oh my gosh, dude, look at all the different designs of the helmet. Oh. <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, am I gonna get something cool? Okay, wait, don't don't off it yet. Five and six, but you're three and eight point five healing efficiency. You just give me you give me a lot of health, and I really like that. That that actually probably also almost saved my uh, my blast vault run, having that extra health and then that amount of armor compared to this. But that gives me almost 10% more attack damage, which would be about two, like two more damage. I'm gonna keep, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hold on to you. That, that one might actually be better than mine, but I'm not too sure yet. Wow, there's even different looks for the wand. I saw that little star. Wow, Ooh, I have no idea if that's good or not. I, I'm not into magic in this. It's probably good, probably should get into it, but like, eh. Did they get any nice booties? Are they Dior? 4, 5.6, 4. F <sighs> Gives me a little bit more ability power, but let's see. Mana regen, healing efficiency, increased attack damage. You just give me more armor, which I think that's six total then. Because I don't think that plus two armor is added onto that four yet. So plus three health. Uh, plus it gives me plus 5% item rarity. Mm, eh. And I think my vault boots are better. Then for a shield that I won't use, I still don't know what my totem does. Plus two health. Oh my god, that actually looks so nice. Like Wandar Affinity Poison. Oh yeah, 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 the poison immunity. That's why I love it. Okay, everything should be organized. That should be all good. Ooh, let's go load up the vault for next movie. I'm so tempted to do that one. I'm so tempted. But at the same time, I got such a strong feeling that it's going to be so bad. Let's see, what are you? Ah, let's leave this for the next movie, just so I can, like, refresh my memory immediately on, like, how to do this, even though I doubt I'm going to forget any of it. Also, we should do this. Oh, let's see. Okay, so I'm completely done with strength. Oh my gosh, dude, there's so much. I really hope I can actually unlock a lot of this stuff in here. There's so many things that I actually want to get. I feel like we should start going into berserking. I feel like I'd rather deal more damage because I think at there, once I'm below 80% health, I just deal even more damage. But like, I don't know how much extra damage, but I feel like berserking is going to be our best one. I feel like I like this one more. Okay, so I at least got that set up. Got all of that done. Ooh, you, which honestly, wait, did I not complete it? Oh, whoops. Oh yeah, that's right. Cause we didn't even loot anything whatsoever. So hopefully I still have that the next time that I get on here. Oh, we should go breed our animals. Hey, I, I need to go get more wheat. We, <laughs> we do not have enough for the amount of animals that I have. <laughs> Yo, Kaz, let's see how much you take. <laughs> a metric ton. Okay, you. Wow, we are almost out of wheat again. So, yeah. You can definitely see why this will become a problem relatively soon. You go there, you stupid rabbits. Go. God, I hate them so much, but I love how I have you guys. God, I love you so much. I hate the other rabbits, not you. Uh, we will definitely need to make automated farms. I feel like that's going to be the next step for all of the stuff around here, which really we just need to go and put... Why, why are the watermelon laughing at me? We just need to go and put some villagers into these and then all right, villagers and also like some redstone, blah, blah, blah. It's just more stuff, but we really need to make things automated. Unless you guys are about to comment saying that there's mods in here that'll automate the farms for me, then, you know, we just need to get towards those. But I feel like we accomplished a ton. I feel like I've actually learned this mod pack decently well. Oh my God, I have 21 armor. I just realized that. But I feel like we have a decent amount to do left. I don't know the ending of this. So if you do know it and you can tell me it, like what's the end goal for the series? I personally don't know. <laughs> But I feel like we're, we're going along pretty well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the movie. If you'd like to see another one, just tell me in the comments down below. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.